What up, y'all? What's going on, everybody? Y'all, it is time for the big fat quiz of the year, 2010. What? Wasn't that yesterday? That was that was yesterday. That 2010. What? I can't believe that was so long ago. It was the year I turned 18, and I got my first car from my grandparents. It was a 2001 nice. Toyota Corolla. It. And yeah. I remember I didn't change the oil in it, and it broke down, which was Man. my first dumb mistake. Hey, it's all right. We've all been there. I think my first vehicle was like the extra, the family minivan, uh, which is funny because no one wants a minivan, right? No. But guess what? You have all your friends in the car at one time. It helps in that regard. <laughs> it's like a party bus, dude. Hell so, yeah. So that was that was a that was an odd win because that was just the perfect vehicle for the squad. Hell so. yeah. <laughs> So you can't go it. wrong at that age. You can't go wrong. No, your first car should never be a good car. I'm sorry. I don't no. care who you are. No. My son, I'm gonna buy the the green monster for from my uh, my brother-in-law again. The one my old truck. Oh yeah. I would try to give that to my son. It's like three years older than me, or younger yeah. than me, I should say. I'm uh, I'm 31, and that's from 1995. So. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, but man. So anyway, that's 2010. Come on. You said that that was last week. That was not that long ago. Now, to shift the gears to this, I saw in the thumbnail, uh, Noel Fielding is back on this one. So, it should be a good one. Oh, hell yeah. Who else is on the panel, but it's fitting to be a good one. You ready? Oh, let's do it, man. Three, two, one. Just this intro bit alone just shows you what was going on then. It just floods right back. Man, I missed 90% of that. So I just saw Russell Brand, Katy Perry. Is this the year they got married? I don't I know. I think it was. We'll see. Come on. Right. Hello and welcome to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. A show so big and fat that even Jamie Oliver thinks it's beyond help. <laughs> if you haven't seen the Big Fat Quiz before, it works like any normal pub quiz, just without the annoying quiz master who thinks he's funny. <laughs> Well, that can't be right. I'm still in it. <laughs> you can play along at home. Uh, it's dead easy. All you need is a lavish set, a prime time slot on Channel 4, and six celebrities. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's me. I don't think we have any of those. Oh, you uh, know what? I, I mean, we my... have a set. I gotta get my stuff. I gotta get my. Uh... Oh, that's right. I gotta get my pen. We didn't do so good the last time. No, we didn't. Surprisingly, surprisingly. We got close to a couple points, though. We got. Yeah. Uh, we, we were close to a couple. We could have had at least three or four more points than we did. Right, right. But still, we... What were we come up with? Like six last yeah, time? it wasn't. Let me see. Let me check the record book. A big fat quiz with eight. Eight? Was that okay. eight? I don't oh, know. I circled eight. It wasn't no 14.5. No, one, one. So that's our. That's what we're uh, aiming for is 14.5. Yep. So yep. let's see. All right. Let's do it. Our teams. First up, two of the toughest stand-ups to have emerged from the gritty working men's clubs of the North. <laughs> it's Alan Carr and Michael McIntyre. Next up, we have from Gavin and Stacey, it's Ruth Jones, and from the Three Musketeers, by the looks of things, it's Jonathan Ross. <laughs> what? Jonathan Ross? No. From the Three Musketeers. Oh, uh, he does. He nailed that. He nailed that. I love that. From the Three Musketeers. Oh. Golly, he looks like such a sleazebag. He already gave me the vibe of sleazebag already. But uh, that's just like, like billionaire on a private island fleece bag right there. Let's, let's see this. <laughs> and finally, two cool characters who listen to bands you've never heard of, only watch films with subtitles, and wear fashion so cutting edge they're already rocking the noughties revival. It's Noel Fielding and Richard Iowadi. Oh hey, <laughs> it's an hey. IT crowd reunion right hey. here. Really? Man, come on. That's awesome. That's yes. awesome. Oh, I can't wait for this. It's going to yep. be real good. I'm guessing, as is tradition on the Big Fat Quiz, you've got team names. Mm. Alan, Michael, any thoughts on a team the name Marcus for you two? What about Posh and Specs? Posh and Specs. <laughs> Chatty and Fatty. <laughs> I think Mex does it for Posh me. Posh and Specs, are you happy with that? Let's do it. Go Posh and Specs. <laughs> Jonathan, Ruth, yeah, what about a name for you two? We want to call ourselves Wagner. 
Not Team Va not Wagner. Wagner. Va Wagner. Wagner. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. No, Richard, anything? Right. What's happening is we're thinking about team names. We okay, had a name okay. for a team. I thought the moccasins. The moccasins. Which I quite like. But then I thought we could soup it up. We could be the electric moccasins. <laughs> Sound like a psychedelic cool band. Cool names for bands just trip off your tongue, don't they? <laughs> the electric moccasins. Or Robson and Jerome. <laughs> Which one are you? <laughs> yeah. Well, Jerome. Yeah. You, have you had a good year? No, Michael, you had a good year, didn't you? You wrote your, your autobiography. What's it about? <laughs> I did, I wrote it. Did you make anything up? Or was it all true? Well, I didn't... I know this is hard to believe. I didn't get a lot of women before my wife. And uh, so I, I, I... It looked so bad. It basically looked like I'd only ever slept with my wife. So I added some pretend women in. And they didn't exist. And my wife won't let it go. <laughs> Every night she keeps saying to me, Who were they? And I'm like, darling, I made them up because I didn't sleep with enough girls. And she, she comes to it every day. Was it Janet? So I don't know who Janet is. Yeah. So I got in trouble for sleeping you with fiction. You make up women's names, don't you? Janet. I, to be honest with you, as soon as I said Janet... You want Benice, Rio. <laughs> Alan, have you had much experience in lying about sleeping with women? No, but uh, I can have a go. <laughs> Rio and Benice. Rio and Benice. <laughs> so, well, the big news for you is you're going on tour again next year. Back on tour, baby. <laughs> Someone's slow hand clapping. <laughs> Jonathan, for the year, what, what, you've been writing comic books, right? Uh, no, I've been doing that and I've been doing some special and stuff and I'm doing some stuff yeah. for... Uh, I'm doing, well, I can't really talk about what I'm doing next year. I'm doing this, I'm taking over a lot of shows on, on Channel 4. Eight out of ten cats, the big fake crew. <laughs> uh, picking up some shows. Yeah. Ruth, what have you got coming up this year? I did a biopic about Hattie Jakes, which is coming out soon. I like Hattie Jakes. A lot of people don't know who she is. People under 40, a lot of them just don't know. But are you under, you're under 40. What are you? I'm under 40, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> and to be fair, it's hard to tell. You could be 500 years old because you look like a vampire. <laughs> but there's no way anyone would know for sure where you come from. <laughs> You look like an undertaker from the sort of turn of the century. Which is a good look for a comedy panel show, I feel. <laughs> Cheers people up, this look. I think you look incredible. Jim, have you ever been remotely experimental with your, your clothing? Because you always... Experimental? This you... has got a curved collar. Yeah. Richard, you're a yeah. properly dressed young man. Thank you. Properly attired. <laughs> I look warm. <laughs> I like the way that you said to them, what have you been up to when it gets to us? They go, well, how's... Yeah. I like your clothes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, that's show business, no. <laughs> Richard, uh, it's like you, you directed your first film. I have, yes. So it's Submarine, it's out in March, It's, it's right? called Submarine, it's out in March. I've seen it, it's very good. It's amazing. There's no submarines in it, though, but it's no. very good. <laughs> Are you worried people go hoping to see a submarine and come out disappointed? I'm worried no one will go, regardless <laughs> of their interest in naval policy. <laughs> but, uh, you see why I've got Rich on my team? Because yeah. he ends punchlines with that's naval good. policy. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> Welcome to the niche corner. <laughs> right, everyone's here. We're going to start some big fat quiz action after the break. Wait, they didn't say what Rick, what uh, Noel was doing, did they? No. I, I think they just left it at he's a vampire or an undertaker, which I agree. I yeah. would have to agree. 100% undertaker from like Midwest cowboy era times. <laughs> like, yeah. I can see that. Like the guy with the top hat that's like measuring the coffins. That's him. That's that yeah. guy. Yeah, I'd give you that one. Or maybe they just didn't want it want to know what he was up to yeah. in the right. coming year. And they're the what what electric moccasins? The electric moccasins. There you go. Whatever. Oh god. Welcome back to the big fat quiz of the year. If there's one thing we can be certain of, it's that the year started with January and February. Let's remind ourselves what happened. <laughs> Full body scanners showing naked images of passengers were introduced at all airports. It's changed the way I answer the question, anything to declare. It's been really cold and I've got a <laughs> tiny penis. Vernon Kay admitted sending flirty texts to five women. Vernon knew it had to stop when Jason Manford tried to Skype him. <laughs> what? No, that's not on. Did you get a call as well? Is no one safe, Jimmy? No. Jason's one of us! <laughs> He's allowed to twank without us making jokes about it. Is twank the official word? I just like saying it. Twank. I quite enjoyed it when he did it to me. <laughs> and Toyota had to recall four million cars because of faulty brakes. Toyota's famous for its hybrid cars. The front half is a coffin on wheels and the back half is a death trap. Of course, it wouldn't be a quiz without questions. Eyes down for January and... It's funny because I mentioned my first car was a Toyota Corolla <laughs> and then he's talking about your Toyota recalled so many cars. Yeah. My God, I vaguely remember that. I yeah. vaguely remember Toyota doing the massive recall because the brakes were jacked up or yeah. something like that. The brakes worked fine on yeah. on my car. Uh, it's just the operator forgot to change the oil. 
That hurts my soul. I know. That hurts my soul, but it's all right. It's like a $20 effing oil change could have, like, it's the vehicle, man. I know. It's like, oh. Anyway. I know that now because I travel so much. I'm adamant about oil changes now. I haven't looked back on that. (laughs) Massive learning experience, but yeah. Yeah. February. Okay, number one. What better way to start the show than with a question from the legendary Will Farrell? Hi, Jimmy. I'm giving it a lot of pizzazz right now. (laughs) Can you remember the beginning of the year? Probably not, because you're drunk all the time. But it was cold. I was so cold. Well, it wasn't cold for me, because I live in L.A., but man, was it cold. (laughs) Now, can you tell me why the cold snap got three well-meaning members of the Thames Valley police into trouble? Okay, you've got got to write down the answer. Will Farrell there asking you a question. The cold snap got the police into trouble. Uh, What happened? (gasps) There was snow everywhere. The police were doing something in the snow. Oh, hang on now. This is coming back to me. Inappropriate for someone in uniform. Have a guess. Come on. Was it sexual? No. I like the thought, though, that it's snowy out, shall we, lads? <laughs> touch up a snowman with a strategically placed carrot. I watched the snowman with my son, the animated thing. Yeah. Okay, I get that. Yeah. We're supposed to watch that at Christmas. Mm. He's five years old. It's the most depressing piece of film <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. He dies. <laughs> The snowman dies. And my child's cried for an hour and a half all year. Dora the Explorer hasn't had so much of a cold by watching the snowman dying at the end. He doesn't die, he melts. It ends. He's made of snow. (laughs) It's just all year we watch TV and people, you know, Pig. If Peppa Pig came on and just went, I've heard it, and slit his wrist, (laughs) I wouldn't watch that. So, Michael, how did you deal with this, with your little boy all upset? What did you say to talk him through this? Well, everything I do in this month revolves around Father Christmas, so I threaten... Yeah, I tend to do stuff, or I threaten that Father Christmas won't come. <laughs> <laughs> I threaten to phone Father Christmas. I'm phoning Father Christmas! And do you have pretend conversation with Father Christmas? Oh, yes! <laughs> I've been on a call waiting. Question number two, OK? <laughs> That's awesome! <laughs> like, makes it through the whole year without being sick. The snowman comes for one, one night, one moment, and then fucking dies. Ugh. Oh. I guess they don't have Frosty the Snowman over there. Nope. nope. And, that's and the- shout out to the person who sent uh, Alexander a copy of the Snowman, because that's awesome. Yes. So we have seen that. Yes. And also to all the other goodies. Uh, I think I've linked your P.O. box in the description. Yes. Use it, guys. It's there. Trust me. Yes. And, and I, I come by his house uh, a month or two to collect yep. stuff. So yep. if uh have stuff for me for the U.K. trip... Uh, Feel free to send it along, please, and yep. thank you. Uh, yep. you. Get special shout-outs in our videos. Boom! Yep. Yeah. We're in the news for all the wrong reasons this year, but can you tell me what's just happened in this photo? Okay. No, I didn't. Okay. okay. Lovely. Man. Okay, I'm down. going somebody bridge. Right. Noel and Richard are really our sporting <laughs> experts this year, I fear. <laughs> <laughs> exactly like a Do you use that handkerchief, ever? Do I use that handkerchief? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's Jason Manfred calls. Yeah. As, a, as a surrender sign. <laughs> okay. This is Yosemite bear. Take a look at this hunk of beef. Oh, wow. <laughs> Vanna! <laughs> does a bit, yeah. Got very excited about something this year and became a YouTube sensation as a result. What was he so excited about? Oh, well, look. That's he got really... Any ideas? None, man. I've been blanking this whole time. Yeah, yeah. I don't think January and February is going to be our month. <sighs> I have to get it in the back end. 100%, man. That's all right. I don't know. I've never seen this guy. He was big on YouTube in 2010. Yeah, I don't know. No idea. Really excited about something. <laughs> Why is that, that looks like it's something that you would hook onto. Oh, like Time now, panelists, for another guest question. It's over to the lovely Nicole Scherzinger. Hi, Jimmy. Now, I've met a few divas in my time, but nothing compares to the tantrums Gordon Brown used to throw when he was in number 10. Can you name three objects he allegedly threw at his colleagues? I met Gordon Brown once. Did you like him? He threw a cup at me. We're <laughs> <laughs> having coffee and he's... Oh! I met him for coffee and he blew froth in my face. Did he? <laughs> stayed on my eyebrows all day. I look ridiculous. <laughs> I'd rather him throw things than, you know, when he tries to smile, that... You know, that advert for strokes, <laughs> isn't it? Alan, you shouldn't joke about strokes, cos if you ever have a stroke, you'd be laughing on the other side of your face. That's tough, man. Hey, no, you know what? Listen, this is why I love this whole concept of the show because it has comedy gold interlaced through the whole quiz. I guess it's just awesome. It's juicy, is what it is. It's juicy, funny throughout. Yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> you guys are <laughs> laughing to the other side of your face. Uh, Love it. But it's frightening though, because they talk about the smell of burning toast. If you have a stroke, then you smell burning toast. So yeah. every time I smell burning toast, I'm like, oh, for fuck's sake, I'm having a stroke. <laughs> it's so embarrassing. Is that your main concern, is that you'll be embarrassed yes. if you have a stroke? In Camden, <laughs> yeah. Just you go in the stocks if you have a stroke. <laughs> but can you imagine me watching that stroke advert thing? It was like, I had all the symptoms. You're limp down one side, and I'm like, blurred speech. And I was like, oh, you know, maybe... I'm not camp, I'm just having a really long stroke. Everyone <laughs> <laughs> finished? Have you got the answer? Oh. Can I just ask, yeah. are you related? Yes, he's my sister. <laughs> okay, some answers. Okay. I always wondered that. I Googled it once. They're not actually related. But it, it's more funny to think that they are. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, it's the same family. Like, what? Yeah. Same. Yeah. It's a sister. Oh my oh god. Man. All right. So Will Farrell asked how some policemen got into trouble during the cold snap. Okay, Michael, what have you got? Building an offensive snowman. <laughs> you think they built an offensive snowman? Yeah. What other thing would you have in your like mind's eye? A snow eye? slut. <laughs> a snow slut. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you put one stone for the eye so it looked like it was winking. <laughs> Uh, Jonathan, talk me through your answer. Well, we genuinely didn't know this story, so we thought, what do you get in trouble So either snowball fight or doing, doing a wee in the snow, maybe doing patterns, their names, maybe spying each other, having a good time. <laughs> <laughs> what a detailed guess, I like it. And what have you gone for, No, <laughs> Just spraying each other, having a good time. <laughs> what? Just oh. dudes being guys! Oh, shit. Usually you pay extra for that. Oh, God. Well. You kill people. <laughs> Oh, oh God. that was too funny. I mean, listen, nothing beats that team's deadpan delivery. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, oh, they just put, built a raunchy snowman or they pissed on each other. And he's like, they murdered people. Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> Get away from the snowy UK. I can murder. Jesus. Murd oh. or murdered? Murd. You might get murdered. Murd. You might get murdered. It's a new American thing. Oh, oh my God. Okay. I remember some comments saying that this Noel and Richard were like best pairing of all Big Fat Quiz. And I, from question one, it's already yeah. proving to be true. Yeah. That would certainly get them into it. trouble, wouldn't it? Yeah, they'd spot to bother. Yeah. I did try and write it like a serial killer as well. <laughs> well, mission accomplished there, Richard. Yeah. <laughs> I think they probably took their trousers and pants off and then ran around holding hands and catching snowflakes on their tongues. <laughs> but Richard grabbed the pen first. <laughs> OK, well, let's hope that continues happening well. throughout the show. <laughs> Richard grabbed that well, pen first. OK, let's what's see. easier if I just show you? This is what they got okay. into trouble for. These are officers of the law you're watching here. That is a riot shield. This is your tax money being spent. Whee! Best use ever of a riot shield. That's yes. brilliant. <laughs> well, who was filming that? They must have known someone was filming it. They must thought this is fine, what we're doing. So many rapes and what? murders occurring behind them. <laughs> are they frolic in the icy? <laughs> Oh, well, it's easier to catch criminals when it's snowing, in fairness to them, because they've got the prints. They can just get there's been a break in, we'll just follow those. You're not sort of tax dodging, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> like crime. Yeah. In property crime. <laughs> I haven't thought this through. It's really. <laughs> okay, that's Oh, no one's safe. No, no one. Safe. Oh, my God. Oh. Hey, honestly, though, I wouldn't give two shits. If my policemen were having a good time, happy policemen means left less accidental uh shootings shots. i guess over there well, yeah, well actually, yeah. i don't think they have guns over there in the uk so no. maybe uh i take that back less accidental deaths yes there you go sure uh, maybe crime is just down when it's snowing because it's kind of hard to rob a, a corner shop if you're it's freezing. snowing you're freezing or you might slip and fall yeah that'd be karma right there so yeah i'm fine with policemen doing that come on dude yeah let them blow off some steam trust me let them blow off some steam you want them to blow off some steam or maybe they're more calm over there no, because maybe. they're not in the united states you're just thinking about united states police man. i am i am i'm sorry this is very yeah i'll about to say man uh, people probably let you up in the comments for that one <laughs> uh, well yeah true very true okay have Fair you enough. laughing uh this is true uh, i'm a slow learner okay hey, cool hey safe around here just this like is... them no one's safe oh my god they went for for jimmy's with that yeah. for the throat he's swept the leg dude 
Wow. Dang. Wow, this <laughs> is just the first question. That's crazy, dude. Oh. Okay. Do you, what had just happened in this photo of some footballers? What did you all think? Well, I think we've got this one right. Yes, you've, you've said... Uh, we've said what it is. Well, they didn't shake hands. You can see it's happening right there. This is one of the easiest questions I've ever been asked in my life. <laughs> <laughs> he missed his hand because he, he slept with his girlfriend. You just have to have eyes for this <laughs> <laughs> Ruth knew this immediately. If she didn't know the details, but she knew some of it. Well, Ruth, what, you've written an essay. Oh, that's that guy, um, Bridge, isn't it? And then I realised he's got his name on the back, so... It wasn't... And then she had the other man, Sam, who we believe is... <laughs> Which had an altercation <laughs> of some sort. Yeah, I said the one in blue had a bit of a go with the wife of the one in white. That's pretty close to the exact right answer. Nolan Richard, you went for... <laughs> <laughs> a, a bumming. A bumming. Noel, could you uh, just tell me who had the pen for this answer? A bumming. That's wrong. The correct answer is Wayne Bridge refused to shake the hand of John Terry after the tabloids reported that Terry had an affair with his ex-girlfriend. In brackets, a bumming. <laughs> what happens if, you know, he's watching telly and he's like, oh, I love the big fat quiz. Come on in, darling. Come watch the big fat quiz with me. Oh, yeah, John, I love that. <laughs> and then they sit down there. That's probably more offensive to them. <laughs> yeah, the old big fat quiz with you. I was just going to say, I think bumming sounds like it's quite a fun word, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. It doesn't sound aggressive. Yeah, you try living with it. <laughs> 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 What what a lump. Goodness gracious. Oh, god damn, man. Okay, I asked uh, Yosemite Bear, got so excited about, what's your Oh, point? I know this one. Yes. Oh, he well, found his geese. <laughs> he, he didn't, he did for ages that they were on him. <laughs> round his neck all the time. Yeah. He was like, ooh, my keys. And he looked all around the mountains. And then ultimately <laughs> he went, I found them! He is balancing the moon on the back of his hand. <laughs> 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 no, Richard, what, what have you got written? Richard's written this, but I can't even read yeah, it. No, I, I, He's... I, I drifted off in the middle. <laughs> He's, what, what's yeah, the middle word there? It's meant to be saw, uh, but um, I, I, I keep... He saw thinking... a rainbow colony. Colony, yeah. <laughs> For Jonathan Roof? Well, no, I know, I know this because um, my kids are showing me this internet clip, which is double rainbow. And this is a guy, and he's obviously camping or something. He's out, he's a wild man, as we can see. And he, I think he's filming it as well, and he's, he does to be like he's a little bit high. And I, he sees a double Wayne I think camping is an excellent description of what this guy's doing. I, I'm going to show you the clip now. This is what this guy became an internet sensation for. Have a look. <laughs> oh, my God! Woo! Oh, wow! <laughs> All the way across the sky! This is... Mm. It's so beautiful! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> it's so intense. OK! Oh my God! So wow. uh, we are big, big advocators of of going and just touching grass for those that you that are pent up all the time, right? And um, this is what happens: don't come back inside after touching grass, and you yeah. go <laughs> you double rainbow, bro. Yeah, you never go little... full double rainbow. Yeah, yeah you never full unplugged. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Not. Man, that's like this guy's uh, like midlife breaking point. Yeah, or, it's uh, like, or or it's like, what drugs are he on, is he on, and where can I get some? Yeah, yeah, he pros just, that's he probably, probably does. grows his own. Yeah. Looks like it. Yeah, I think he's those keys are a box of rainbows, and he's unlocked them and let a couple. <laughs> and it clearly says on the lid, one at a time. Not... And he went, oh my god, two have gone out. Go sit on the lid. <laughs> oh, so intense. <laughs> Okay, uh, Nicole, uh, which items Gordon Brown allegedly threw at his colleagues? What did you put? Mobile phone and then a pen. Okay, lovely. Uh, then you've gone for. I, well, I thought maybe a shoe. Ruth thought a telephone. Mm. Okay, and uh, Noel Richard, you've gone with. Satsuma, live wasp, and nightmares. <laughs> 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 what drugs are you two on? Oh and God. where can I get some? What? Satsuma, live wasp, and nightmares. Excuse me? Oh my God! I don't oh know. my God! If you didn't like him as a prime minister, uh, didn't like his policies, then maybe you would think that's <sighs> what he would throw. Yeah, I'm just saying. Go over to uh, Nicole Scherzinger and find out what the real answer was. <laughs> Did you get it? Gordon Brown allegedly threw a mobile phone, a stapler, and an, a laser printer at colleagues <laughs> while he was prime minister. God, if she had actually said.
Whoa! Printer. He threw a <laughs> printer. That is next level. Hey, hey. I love that is one hell of an epic mental image. Yeah, that is I'll... just a fucking oh, just <laughs> fucking throw it. That's Man. awesome. That's all. Just... I'm just thinking of all the U.S. presidents that probably have thrown something in the Oval Office. Probably all of them. From, I don't know, 1972 onwards? No, 1960 onwards. Probably. Yeah, probably. So let's fuck it. All of them. For up till now. There has to be, all... like, a, a oval room. Yeah. There has, has to be. be. Dead, either Satsuma wasp or nightmare. <laughs> it would have been the greatest moment of all our lives. <laughs> she said he threw a da da da. Someone. <laughs> which, I, which I believe is a slang for Satsuma wasp. How can you throw a live wasp? A, a dead wasp, I get, I get that. Well, you Stick pretend it. you're throwing it, but you, you're into the wasp and you go, in a minute, <laughs> when I release you, just fly straight towards his head. And then it goes up. So it looks like you're throwing it. Yeah, but, but really. It's flying. Yeah. Why do you think it's weirder throwing a live wasp than a nightmare? <laughs> <laughs> right, that is the end of the first round. The scores are, so far, Alan and Michael have an incredible one. Uh, Jonathan and Ruth have two points there in the lead. Noel and Richard are lucky to have one. Hey, we're not too far behind. Uh, we can catch up. Yeah. These are very catch-up numbers. Yeah, okay? yeah. We're not this yet. No, no. Okay, uh. I'm, I'm with them. So a lot of people during the beginning of this year were just like, what the fuck is going on in life? So I'm fine with that. All right, yeah, I'm with you. Time now for an ad break, or as I like to think of it, a chance for you to see some of the things you got for Christmas advertised at half price in the sales. See you in a bit. <laughs> that makes sense. Welcome back to the big fat quiz of the year. And as the intimate text message of January and February turns into the awkward public apology of March and April, <laughs> let's remind ourselves of what happened. Ricky Martin came out of the closet. In fairness, he'd only popped into the closet to find the perfect leggings to go with his crop top. <laughs> Wait! <laughs> Wait what? a minute, what? Like, hear me out on this. I thought Ricky Martin had come out way before 2010. What? Eh, I mean... That was, there was, I didn't think there was any secret. I thought it had already been said. That's crazy. Okay. Didn't know that. 2010. It just means your gaydar is good. Yeah, so, I just like, man, I thought it was like, that. I was like, yeah, Nudo, I'm like, uh, yeah. Doc. I mean, he a very crazy life, so. He sung about he, it. Uh, so it makes it that you would think he said something about it earlier, or it yeah. just wasn't a secret at all. Yeah. It's uh, crazy. Cool. Yeah. Drug or Meow Meow was banned. The drug was originally sold as plant food, which explains why my daffodils are so paranoid. <laughs> I'm not sure what Meow Meow's actually like, because I haven't tried it. I'll ask Noel. No. <laughs> it's all right, actually. <laughs> but apparently it's bad for you. Is it... Didn't tell us that when we were taking it by the shed load, did they? <laughs> <laughs> it's quite weird, though. Have you ever smoked drugs through a cat's anus? <laughs> <laughs> I saw a double rainbow. All right, time for some more questions. <laughs> if you've seen the big... Oh, my God. I can't. Oh, I dude. can't. God. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. For those of you that really pay attention to these recordings Ugh. that we do, usually we'll break right in the middle, but I think we're going to break this up into thirds because we're laughing so much. Oh my god, dude. This is going to be a four-hour big fat quiz one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fat quiz before, you'll know that every year the children of Mitchell Brook Primary School in Neesden <laughs> put on some rather unconventional school funny. plays. What I want to know is, what news story are they adorably acting out here? Take a look. Was that something to do with migrants? Almost. <sighs> I was going to guess a volcano exploded or erupted as they do, not exploded. But a volcano erupted and people were trapped on an island. They couldn't get out. Okay, okay. But what, uh, was it Hawaii? It, uh, no, because this is UK. So is oh. there is Vikings. I feel like Iceland. I feel oh, like it Iceland. could be... Iceland! Yeah. Okay, Iceland. Escaped and they tried to... Go to the UK or something. Okay. Yeah. I because of the Vikings, right? In the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Answer, I will submit to that one. Okay, cool. Okay, sit down. 
Time now for a Say What You See puzzle. Oh, Concealed within these. these pictures is a headline. Here's an example of how we do this. OK, so that's Mac in Tyre. See how that works. <laughs> <laughs> Michael McIntyre. Yeah. OK. That's just now, but what I want to know is what news headline from the year is this? Oh. Oh, uh, oh shit. De tongue depressor, uh, tug of war, rocket, iPad? iPad. Okay. And. Okay. Apple, um, Apple pad? Uh, it's something to do with the iPad. Launching iPad. My God. Damn. What is the first two? War, tug of war, right? So any of those words mean anything? Tug of war, polling? <laughs> Pulling, uh, they punt at the iPad, but who, tongue, who? tongue depressor, uh, or, tongue, open mouth, um, examination. I don't, uh, anyway, doctors, I don't know. I, yeah, but okay, we get the last three launch iPad. We get the point, we get at least half. Okay, is half that cool? Point, point. yeah, we, at least put that together. Yeah, yeah. It's not easy when it's not your actual name, is it, Michael? <laughs> Can I have that picture, though, to take home? Yes. <laughs> it's a little treat for you. Thank you. Okay, so say what you see. It not be easier. Okay. Apple. 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 Fucking ridiculous. All right. Oh, my God. <sighs> time for a guest question. This time it's over to the one and only Jack Black. Hi, Jimmy. Here's a question for you big fat quizzers. Which major crisis did Boffins attempt to solve using nylon tights, golf balls, rubber tires, and human hair? Which <laughs> What? I'm very confused about that. Do you want me to run that back? Yeah, what did you say? Attempt to solve you quizzers. <laughs> Which major crisis did Boffins attempt to solve using nylon tights, golf balls, Rubber tires and human hair. Any idea? Boffins. Boffins. The boffins. What? What crisis? Golf balls, nylon tights, human hair, rubber tires. Uh, I don't know. Nothing. I don't know. Nothing. Very. And scientists try to solve oh, the problem. So, with sorry, sorry, okay, sorry. so what did scientists try? There's a, basically a disaster, and oh. scientists tried to solve ah. the problem with golf balls. Human hair. They, they, they tried everything. They tried a oh, bunch of different things. Totally know it. That's got to be right. Yeah. <laughs> Have a look at this clip. What has this woman just found out? What did he say? You're joking. <laughs> I can't believe this, that he said that. That is a clip of one of the women that Michael McIntyre claims to have slept with in his autobiography. <laughs> 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 Making them up. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, <sighs> man. I don't know. Any guesses? No idea. That no. Th her tenant just passed away. I her don't know. Tenant. Okay. This year, historian Dr. David Starkey has returned with another tale from history. Can you tell me whose saga he is recounting here? And so, the romance of the Northumbrian princess and the lusty knight reached its tragic conclusion. Rumours abounded that the knight had topped with wenches in taverns whilst away on tournament. But his fate was sealed when the chroniclers revealed that he texted lewd images of himself to another clad only in his codpiece. <laughs> Distraught, the princess fled to the colonies, finding solace in the arms of Will I Am and a certain acrobat named Derek. After a rush of the plague, the princess sought absolution with the holy bishop Piers Morgan, exiled the knight, and returned to her rightful place in the nation's hearts. Oh, man. And vote will I am and Piers Morgan. Any ideas? I have, I'm blanking, man. Lend lewd text messages, too. So, someone... Uh... I don't know, man. I, I've yeah. never really kept up with celebrity yeah. gossip. No, me neither. I'm just trying to think where in the world Piers Morgan and Will I Am would possibly be in a shared space, and that would be one of those effing singing competitions. Maybe I don't know. Uh, I, I'm I'm blanking. I'm he probably it might have been just William or is it Will I Am? I don't know. I have no idea what's happening here. I want to see the tiger, the tiger story. Yeah, the tiger story. Something is, about that. I don't know. That? All right.
pretty confident we've got all of these right. Yeah. Well, let's see. We saw the children of Mitchell Brook Primary School performing one of their unusual school plays. Did you get what it was all about? With was the ash cloud, the volcanic ash cloud, the Icelandic ash cloud. Okay, uh, Alan, ash cloud. Okay, Noel's no, Richard. Show. I thought it was my new show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you thought the it's kids of Mitchell Brook Primary scripted. School in Leesden had gone into the future, seen your new show, and done a play about it? Yeah, you sound stupid when you put it like that. <laughs> But yes. <laughs> was anyone inconvenienced by this? Was anyone stuck anywhere? Oh, I, I pretended I was. <laughs> I was it. <laughs> There's so many people kept using that, saying, oh, I'm stuck, I'm stuck in Morocco. I'm stuck. So <laughs> people would... <laughs> I said I was stuck, so I didn't have to do any work. Was that when I was trying to get you to do my show? Yeah, I Oh, I was, no, I was, I was actually in, stuck in Morocco. <laughs> really well. Yes, I was. Because of that ash. Yeah. I like the fact that everyone got very angry with Iceland over it. I was furious with Iceland, and for a little while I really didn't like Icelandic people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know any, but just the idea that they wouldn't control their volcano. <laughs> like, hey. It's so stupid. You know you've got a volcano, put a cork in it or something. Oh, no. <laughs> I've blocked things up now. Be right off their chicken tikka lasagna. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm giving us a point. We yeah, volcanic point. explosion, we're, we got a point there. That. Yep, yep. Thank you. What headline was represented by the picture puzzle? What did you put? We put R Tug Rocket I Sanitary Towel. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what it is. You told us. You just read them what they are across. <laughs> Jonathan, Ruth. Oh, we got it right. Apple, Apple launch sanitary towel. <laughs> You've fallen at the final hurdle. Though. <laughs> just talk, talk me through what's uh, okay. what's going on. Huh? What, what have you gone with? Mouth pull rocket eye parcels. <laughs> parcels. Parcels. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No sort of parcels coming through my letterbox. <laughs> Jimmy, can I ask you what, what the answer is? Yes, it's Apple launches iPad. They, I they can't actually iPad. just say that that is not work. Uh, <laughs> Apple. No, it's right there. What did you say? Apple. No. Yeah, it's. No, 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 you say, no. That is not a fruit. Do you not have an Apple? <laughs> oh. Can I look at like a bunch of apples? Oh, this is that yummy. Towel. Oh, have you tasted this apple? Oh. On a banana. Oh, you talking? You know no, it. No, 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 oh. apple. <laughs> if I went to the apple shop and said, "Hi, I'd like an apple," <laughs> they wouldn't even let me in. <laughs> oh, that is a void question. Yeah, and if you true. don't get rid of it, I'm walking. And I'm going with him. Yeah. <laughs> if you stole my, maybe the campest walk out ever. <laughs> okay, Jack Black. We get the point. Look, we're we're making a comeback. We're making we're now. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Do not scientists boffins try to solve with nylon tights, golf balls, rubber tires, and human hair. Uh, Alan and Michael, you've gone for BP oil spin. And, and they try to use all of those things in order to stop the oil. Yeah, from... to plug that. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Jonathan Ruth, we thought that they were making a dress for Lady Gaga. <laughs> if you were trying to plug the oil spill, you just put a couple of golf balls and some tights down there. <laughs> With a top hat. Did you hear about that? That top hat. <laughs> I, I don't think it was actually, actually a top hat. <laughs> it wasn't like someone in spats just went, that should do it. Yes. <laughs> it's um, what, what how to lower the cost of dentistry. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> with nylon tights, golf balls, rubber tires, and human hair. I'm not no, saying they did it well. Okay, let's go to Jack Black for the answer. Hey Jimmy. The answer was of course the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. Turns out that cement worked a lot better than golf balls. Who knew? If you like the way in America they try to make it seem like it was our fault mm. because BP used to be a British company and it's not, I don't think it's even owned by British yes. people anymore, it's mainly American. Yes. And every time it was on the news, Obama yeah. would say, British Petroleum, yeah. British Petroleum. Yeah. We don't have a go at them for sending Hannah Montana over, they should get us <laughs> when it comes to British Petroleum, yeah. no longer British. Exactly, they should have put her down there and tried to clog it up. <laughs> See, I'm with Noah on that one because that would have eliminated Miley Cyrus and I would not have gotten a copyright strike from her on my music channel yeah. for doing a first mashup of Flowers and Eagle, Hotel California. So, uh, uh, for you, once it yeah. wasn't the Eagles that, that n nabbed me. It was Miley fucking Cyrus. Hannah Montana. Hannah fucking Montana. Yep. I not... wouldn't have guessed that. Oil spill. I knew that was a thing. I knew it happened. Yeah, I, I, I knew know, it happened. I didn't know they tried to stop it. <laughs> well, they had to stop it somehow. Oh, God. But I, rem I remember that. I remember the BP oil spill. That was a big deal. I remember gas prices went up significantly, almost to the prices they are today. Yeah. And that yep. was a stark contrast because it didn't get go up. That shit went like yesterday. Shoo! It was like a dollar, dollar per gallon. 
and mm. then four, like four dollars. I'm like, what? Yeah, just happened. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. It cost BP fifteen billion pounds in petrol. That's the bad news. The good news is they got three hundred and eighty trillion nectar points. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough to buy the whole of Asda. <laughs> I reckon that would still only get you a toaster. You ever collected nectar points? Yeah, I used to. You don't get anything. You could be there for a year and you go, oh, a CD, yeah. thanks. Oh. No, that's not true. I got a, a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> How much petrol did you go through? It wasn't a Henry, though, was it? Oh, no. No way. There's no, not no. nectar points in the world. <laughs> Hoover with a face on it. <laughs> OK, I asked you what the woman in the clip had just received. What did you get? Gordon Brown had flagged her off. She went up to him and she, she said to him, all these Eastern Europeans come from, eh, Gordon? Where have all these Eastern Europeans come from? The answer's actually in the question. It's actually quite an easy question. <laughs> he could have just put that to bed with Eastern Europe. Um, but no, he really panicked and he called her a bigoted woman in, when he left his oh, microphone on in the car. It, it uh, could have then... been so much worse, couldn't it? I mean, you know, he's under that amount of pressure, he gets into the car, the mic's still on. It could have been much worse than a bigoted woman. He might have said big titted. We don't know for sure. <laughs> Imagine yeah, if he tried to cover it up by going, no, no, I said big titted. <laughs> yeah, but then he drove past and threw a printer at her out the window. So, Jonathan Ruth, you went with bigoted lady. Bigoted lady, we know that, yeah. And Noel yeah, we'll Richard, you went with? She's got to present, never mind the blood shot. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is, puts his makeup on. I think they should make everyone keep their microphones on all the time, okay? It's just to catch me, because it's funny. Hang on. Most Did you hear? people don't have microphones on all the time. <laughs> No, you exist in TV. On, Everyone's but... microphones on them. <laughs> You're so showbiz. <laughs> what I like is when he... Cos he let her eat in the car, and then he, he had to... They are around and go to her house, and he spent a, an hour with her at her house, and then he came out of the house, and when I've just spent... I've just spent uh, with uh, Mrs. Apologising, and I'm a sinner, and that's the end of that. Then he got into his car and drove off. When I was watching on the news, I was just praying that he had then left it on again. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, that fat bitch. <laughs> Didn't offer me a cup of tea. Uh, Gordon, you're up. Turn the car around! <laughs> <laughs> I would have liked him to lose his microphone on again and again until he moved in with Mrs. <laughs> <laughs> the most embarrassing thing was it wasn't even a clip on mic, it was a handheld. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Is this thing on? What a bitch! <laughs> Dr. David Starkey uh, recounted how from history. Did you work out what he was? Oh, okay, okay. So that's what it was. He it was a hot man and he assaulted that woman. So obviously we didn't get it. Well, all right, last last chance to get do was talking about. I got nothing, man. Me neither. All right. He was talking about. Yes. You, you did. I think I might have. Yeah. No, Richard. What have you got? I can't remember her name, but I put Geordie Chocolate Eyes. <laughs> I'm so tempted to give you that. That's sort of. Hey, you know what no, I mean. I know exactly who you mean because she's now gone back to using her because she was Cheryl Cole, yeah. but now she's gone back to being Cheryl from Girls Aloud. Oh, really? Uh, which is her maiden name. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great if, after this, if everyone just referred to her as Geordie Chocolate Eyes? <laughs> and that became officially her name. Geordie Chocolate Eyes? But she has late got chocolate eyes, though. Fair enough. Oh. There's actually quite a strange bunch on the X Factor, aren't there? Because when you look at... Because you look at... She has got chocolate eyes, which I hadn't oh. noticed one. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. Um, <laughs> but Simon Cowell, his head is impossibly flat. I mean, it's like, it's, it's like, it's like someone's drawn off a box and stuck it in his I believe they were trying to make a Lego figure of him, they couldn't get the top of the Lego flat enough <laughs> to emulate his head. It's because he sleeps upside down. Yeah. On, <laughs> on his head. Back over to the good doctor just to have it confirmed. Hello, Jimmy. I was, of course, talking about the fall of the House of Coal. <laughs> oh, Ashley, you fool. You damn foolish. <laughs> It just it makes it so much funnier when it's just this straight laced uh, upper British guy talking about it with you know a documentary style. Yes, yes, it I just love that. It for me. <laughs> well, I like that. It's Dr. David Starkey basically going, "Oh, you're an idiot. I definitely would have." <laughs> He's amazing. <laughs> right. Let's see how you're doing. Uh, Alan and Michael have five oh. in the lead. Jonathan and Ruth with six. Oh. Noel and Richard with two. Oh, We're tied. We're, We're tied, tied with them. Hey. We're do yeah. we're actually doing yes like like than we thought tied we're on the board right now so yes yes granted I don't think these guys are trying at all no they're no. not they're but not hey, it's fine we're gonna slowly creep up you know we're the second half team yeah we're the second two thirds yeah. is yeah. what we are mm hmm mm hmm <laughs> right. 
We've got to take a break now, so for everyone watching on new, expensive 3D TVs, this one's for you. See you in a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back for more Big Fat Quiz action. And so we cast off the warm jumper of March and April to reveal the pasty torso of May and June. Let's remind ourselves what happened. After offering to sell access to her ex-husband, Prince Andrew, for half a million pounds, Sarah Ferguson was pilloried in the press. What is it about the fat, greedy ginger parasite that people don't like? <laughs> taxi driver Derek Bird went on a gun rampage in Cumbria. Typical taxi driver, shooting across a junction. <laughs> <laughs> Footage of Rona Williams' journey to work along the A1 became an internet sensation because this happened. <laughs> oh, I remember that! What? Is that car not... Why is it stopping? He Can you not see it? it? He oh it. my god. Well, what a great, exciting way to get to work, though, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's a bit like that advert where they have the big slide out the window and he goes and he gets a cross <laughs> off the way in. You know, I don't know. I don't know what I do if that happened to me. I guess just keep driving the truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> did they survive? They did survive. What happened? The truck driver didn't notice <gasps> that there was a car on the front of his truck. Why did the person filming it not try to help the situation? <laughs> because that's a brilliant thing to film. Wouldn't it be lovely, like, like Alton Towers, and when you reach your destination, you actually pick a photo of it? <laughs> <laughs> <You're> like, <"Woo." laughs> OK, question time. To kick things off, we have another guest question. So it's over to Simon Pegg. Hi, Jimmy. Here's a question. 28-year-old Anna Chapman gained worldwide notoriety this year when her secret was revealed. Question is, what was that secret? Anna Chapman. Anna Chapman, what was her secret? Any idea? Worldwide notoriety. Oh, no idea. OK. From June this year, where could you try a fainting fancy, buy some screaming yo-yo or a chocolate frog? What? I knew chocolate frog would wake you up. <laughs> From June onwards, you could buy those things. You could test them. Oh, come on, look, Michael. I don't Stop know what... The, I really about. don't know what's going on on question two. I don't know. You're... Yeah, I, I... What does that even mean? It has to be something Harry Potter related because Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 came out in 2010. Was there so... a theme park? Is there a, 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 a Harry Potter-themed... Um... Uh, I think there's a Harry Potter world at Universal Studios in Orlando. Yeah. Yeah, other than that, I don't know if there's... There's got to be, you know, I Harry Potter related. Harry Potter themed something. Shop. Yeah, yeah. If we if it's related to that, we get the point. Yep. Your mouth is moving and I can't make any sense of it. You might as well be speaking... Iranian to him or something. You've got no idea what's going on, have you? No, fainting fit. Not a fainting fit, <laughs> but a fainting fancy. It's like a really famous thing. A chocolate frog. A chocolate frog. It's a famous thing. All it couldn't right. be a bigger thing. All right. Do you know what I'm <laughs> no, just patronising. No idea. <laughs> I'm not being patronising, I'm being condescending. Yeah, OK. <laughs> Oh, what can we say? What is it? <laughs> Alan, Michael, you've got, to, you've got to write something down. OK, OK. So where do you think you, you could have got... Know, you must know. Where do you think know. you could get a chocolate frog from? OK. After playing Nicholas Mahout at this year's Wimbledon, John Eisner said he could have eaten 12 Big Macs. Why was he so hungry? Did he win Wimbledon? I don't know. I don't follow tennis. Because uh, he was high. Because I got high. Were they big Mac and Rose that he could eat? Were they big Mac and Rose stopping you? <laughs> oh, I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> I was at the tennis when the roof shut for the first time. Oh, I accidentally good. lent on the button. <laughs> 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 it did shut and everyone was really excited. It was really boring, though. It just went... Yeah. It took ages and it was like, this is history! And I was like, oh, I'm going to get another pins. <laughs> OK, right. Uh, in May, there was the small matter of a complete change of government. Let's remind ourselves how it happened. We're going at it all night, all day. That's how we're going to... Gordon, and Nick says Nick doesn't agree with Gordon. Someone has just handed me the tape. Let's play it and see if we can hear it. She just the song. Big it's a woman. It's my intention to tender my resignation to the Queen. Her Majesty the Queen has asked me to form a new government. 
and I have accepted. Once asked what your favourite joke was, you replied, Nick Clegg. And... I, I'm afraid I did oh, once. Right. I'm, I'm, uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're all... Lovely to see civil partnerships in the news. Um, <laughs> OK, that was the general election, but what, can you tell me uh, why 600 people in Chester, 200 people in Sheffield and 150 people in Hackney were particularly angry on polling day? They couldn't vote for their candidate. It was during a match. Oh, it was during a match? I don't know. Maybe it was during a football match. That's one thing. That's why, that's why they, they, they're mad. That's why they're always mad. Yeah, football fans. <laughs> they're they're the most calm people on earth. Yeah, most the level headed, laid back, <laughs> laid back man. Yeah, yeah, not a care in the world. Got it? You good? You happy? <laughs> you ready for answers? You got it? You got something? I just found some chewing gum under my chair. I was got <laughs> really angry for about a minute and realized it was me and Russell two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Who's done that? Oh, that was me. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, let's have some answers. Let's get some. Let's get some answers done. Simon Pegg wanted to know how the gorgeous Anna Chapman made the news. Did anyone remember? We thought she was the steak. <laughs> <laughs> they also think she was the. She yeah, was the steak. Yeah, but we meant stick of the dump. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jonathan Ruth, you've gone for the sexy spy lady. Okay, yeah, she was a spy. You got that Very right. Sexy. Yes. I'm afraid you guys got that wrong. Okay, uh, next one. I asked you where you could try a fainting fancy, buy some screaming <clears throat> yo-yo, and buy a chocolate frog. Noel and Richard. Dixons. <laughs> <laughs> we went for Dixons. <laughs> what do you mean we? You went for Dixons. Yeah. Dixons not even still going, is it? Why don't you just put Rumbelows? <laughs> Jonathan and Ruth, where do you think you could buy a screaming yo-yo, well, a fainting fancy, and a chocolate frog? I know this. Ruth wasn't sure because she has never seen a Harry Potter film, which I find almost impossible to believe. Or read a book. No, I'm, nor I'm me. pretty sure... What? Nor You're me. in some of them. <laughs> <laughs> some of the Snape. <laughs> Was that good? You're very good in them. Yeah, he... <laughs> Noel, he does make a good Severus Snape. I'll give, I'll give him that. I love that. You're in a couple of them. <laughs> I love that. Oh god. If they ever do like a, a Harry Potter reboot, you gotta cast Noel or, Fielding as a TV as show. A TV, TV show. show, something like that. Noel Fielding has to be Snape. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. And I'm not even the Harry Potter guy. Right, right. I'm the Harry Potter guy. But I and... know that. I, I know that reference. Thank you. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Harry Potter Land has opened at Universal Studios in Orlando. I went there in the summer. It is, if you like the books and the film, there's no other place you want to be. You, you went there in the summer? Yes, we had a so fantastic look... time. Drank some butter beer. I drank I've, a lot I've of got, butter I've got a picture of that. I've literally... Look at that. Nice! Really good, really thick. Your eyes look quite odd there. I was drunk on butterbeer. <laughs> Alan and Michael, what did you go for here? Piss flaps. <laughs> you okay, told okay, okay, Alex, OK, I'll accept that. You told me to write something, so I did. Say <laughs> me if you don't like what you say. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the wittiest thing I've ever said, but I was stressed, weren't I? I thought, quick, piss flaps. You kept saying, <laughs> write something, write Something. I'm very disappointed in you, Tony. What, is that not the right answer? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I asked you why. Okay, we get the point. We get the point. Yeah. What are we up to? Three? Three. Yay. Yay. So, FYI, I, um, the weekend I'm going up to New York to see Liam Gallagher and John Squire. The next day, I'm seeing Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollow. No, no, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child on Broadway. So... The fact that there's something Harry Potter themed here, I had the opportunity to hey. talk about it, and I will do a review of it uh, on you this channel. You have to. You have to. Yes, like uh, that—that's how I'm able to travel. Is uh, yes, is documenting it till yeah. I can write it off. Yeah, yeah. Trust, trust. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, that's the, this is the channel it belongs on. If you're gonna do a, a review of Harry Potter on ice or in Broadway on Broadway, why do I have put on ice? <laughs> on ice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. I'm that's, so sorry. That that's Harry Potter. My... I couldn't imagine that. 
Harry Potter on ice. He, he would have <laughs> fallen on some hard times in his tenure in the Ministry of Magic. <laughs> Harry oh. Potter on ice. <laughs> oh. Okay, never mind. That's a terrible idea. Oh, oh man. You can't take us anywhere. Oh, shit. <sighs> Why uh, John Eisner was so hungry after playing Nicholas Mahout at this year's Wimbledon? What did you put? We went on. It went on and on and on. To, it went on for that. It was, what was the final score? Something like. Okay. Well, it was. It was the longest tennis match in history ever. Wow. They played 183 games. It took 11 hours and five minutes. Oh they my god. Like a god. tennis ventriloquist act, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Well, Michael, did you? Yeah, the longest uh, tennis we, match. We got longest right. match, pretty good. Okay, yeah. and you went with Nolan Richard? I put, he just had sexy times. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what it's called in your house? Yes, yeah, six o'clock to 6.15. <laughs> so we just uh, put an egg timer out. <laughs> and uh, when the sound's gone, so are we. <laughs> okay, I wanted to know why 600 people in Chester, 200 people in Sheffield, and 150 people in Hackney were so angry on polling day. Did you get this? Because they live in those places. <laughs> <laughs> they closed the booths. They closed the booths? Yeah. You've the... got a strange voice, haven't you? Because sometimes it's all high and pretty like a flute. Other times, they closed the booths. <laughs> Like a flute. Yes, do a high bit. We'll put this on the Hello. See, that's nice. That's nice Alan comes with a range, whereas you're either Guy Fawkes or Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what did you go for, Jonathan Ruth? What did you go? Hitler. The whole range. They were angry on polling day because they couldn't the find talk. a poll. They could, couldn't find a poll. No. <laughs> no. No, and Richard have probably probably got it. Okay, Six hundred people in Chester. 200 people in Sheffield, 150 people in Hackney. Angry, because they got bitten by a horse. <laughs> the same horse, Jimmy. That horse was busy that day. <laughs> Biting and galloping around. <laughs> My you know sister that? actually got bitten by a zebra. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This feels like overhearing something in a doctor's her... surgery now. <laughs> How did the zebra get close enough to bite? We were in France. We were in one of these kind of outdoor Oh, France, zoo where the zebra things. roamed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, while we're doing animal-related stories, I know someone who went into anaphylactic shock mm. because she was at London Zoo and she has a nut allergy, and as she walked past the elephant enclosure, the elephant reached out and, having recently eaten peanuts, <gasps> kissed her on the face, and she went... <laughs> poof, poof, poof. <laughs> <laughs> I know From her. elephant's trunk. I know her. Do you? Anaphylactic. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go out with her. We met her uh, bobbing for our pools. Michael, you are invited to the cookout. Awesome. I know her. Anaphylactic. I, yeah. Long history. Yeah. Oh, no. Hardly knew her. Oh god! Oh my god! Uh. So, so so wait wait. I I said they couldn't vote for their candidate, so the polls closed. That was the right answer. Do we get half a point? Let's get half. Let's get half. Half Let's a point. Half. half a point. It's because listen, the points don't matter. Yeah, it's 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 whose line rules now. Yeah, yeah. Points, points just don't matter. Don't matter. <laughs> but we have to feel good about ourselves for exactly through all of it. Yeah. There is no rhyme or reason to all of this. In the three plus years we've been doing this, there has never been any rhyme or reason to anything we've ever no, done. No. So 3.5, we're out here. Okay. Exactly. Hi, Jimmy. Actually, when I, I thinking back now, when I was about seven, a llama nearly ate my hair at the zoo. <laughs> well, all of it. People, well, I was it. really small, so it and almost is... lifted me off the floor. It's like... <laughs> the interesting thing about that is that is still how Noel gets his hair cut. <laughs> We've done by llamas. I was absolutely furious. I had to be calmed down by the teacher. I don't know what I thought I was going to do. <laughs> <laughs> I punched a goat in the face once. <laughs> Is that, I could believe that from you. Is that true? I was in a petting zoo with my children, and this goat started being too rough with my little boy. He knocked him over, and I went, right. And I was looking, I went, boom! And I knocked the goat over. 
I'll be honest, this doesn't show me in a good light, but it was, no. a, bird, it was a baby goat. <laughs> <laughs> a baby goat learned a valuable lesson yeah. that day. I can, tell you, I can tell you the Daily Mail headline is going to be Jonathan Ross punches kid. <laughs> <laughs> That's clickbait right there, dude. Oh, oh God. That... <laughs> Kid? Uh, oh, you mean baby goat. Oh, <laughs> oh okay, okay. Got it. Got Man. it. Man. Okay. okay, let's have a look at the scores. I can tell you that Alan and Michael have right. seven points. Jonathan and Ruth are in the lead with nine points. Surprisingly, <laughs> Nolan Richard trailing behind with two points. <laughs> We're in third place. We're in third place. Yes. Maybe... And there we will remain. Probably. Trust me. Trust me. Yeah. I yeah. feel it. Next group of questions, we'll nail it. Mm-hmm. We're making progress here. Yep. Yep. So it's the part of the show where I introduce a mystery guest. I want you, the panelists, to tell me who they are and why they made the news this year. Please welcome our mystery guest. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this Kitty is uh, Daryl, uh, and he is the owner of the, uh, uh, I don't want to give it away, Mammal. <laughs> <laughs> He's the owner of the Mammal in question. Uh, what I want to know is uh, how, how, how did they make the news? Say, I'm incredibly allergic to those mammals. <laughs> <laughs> incredibly allergic. Yes. Well, this is going to be much funnier than even we thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's the question, what mammal is this? Because I might know. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I nice about cats and dogs? You stroke them, and that's 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 it. That's the level I'm involved in. That's that's where this massage is at. And then they just turn over and go, <laughs> happy <Yes>. ending? No. <laughs> yeah, well, has he accidentally stumbled upon your relationship with the cat? <laughs> no. <laughs> Was this cat in the news? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, I know! It's not just show and tell, I Michael. <laughs> I've just brought in, I've got a friend called Darren, he's got a cat. Stick news. him in the show! <laughs> That'd be fantastic! Has the cat changed its identity or look recently? Because if it's the cat I think it is, I think the cat looked quite differently. <gasps> Did the cat reason. used to be a dog? <laughs> <laughs> Was the cat involved in a clip on the internet? Yes. Does it play the keyboards? <gasps> no. <laughs> oh, it's not that... Yeah, yeah, that was, uh, that was last year, I think. Or the year before that, I can't remember. It was the year before, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A cat that speaks that goes, oh, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that. I've seen the speaking don't be, <laughs> don't be alarmed. I'm pretty sure that, that only happens in Noel's head. It's amazing. Okay, so you've got to write down how you think oh, we got to write the down. cat we, made the news. That cat looks like he's ready to sort of leap off you at any second now. He's uh, yeah. running you out. You can have a wander around if you want. Oh. Well, not if he doesn't want to get punched. He's got a Everyone finished? Well, without further ado, let's, let's go, to, go to the answers. So, uh, Alan and Michael, what have you got? We okay. think it's the cat that went, was put into the bin. In a way oh, bin. It's horrible to say it out loud. Okay, like and Jonathan Ruth? Person, woman, well, Ruth wrote the cat was rescued from a bin, which I think shows her in a good light because she immediately cut to the happy ending part of the story. <laughs> but I've then filled it as initially put in the bin by a mad woman. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, okay, and, and uh, Noel and Richard? Was dropped in the bin. The game's right. <laughs> Was dropped in a bin. Yes. <laughs> Noel and Richard have got it right. <laughs> wow! Daryl. Oh. Let's have a clip. If it's not, could you oh. could you just guard Lola's eyes so she doesn't see? I don't want her watching this. <laughs> Let's have a look and see what happens. Thank you. Oh. Surely not. Why would you do that? No, no, look. She's mental. Oh. oh she's. Terrible oh. woman! Oh, it's hell no! It? It's still, you just... Why do you think she's allergic to them? <laughs> <laughs> I think you've played this all wrong. I think this round should have been the woman coming out here, then we had to guess who she was, and then Jonathan Ross could have punched her in the face. <laughs> hey! Yeah. You played this wrong. That was a much better idea. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, that was uh, Daryl and Lola the Cat. Give them a round of applause. Ooh. Well, join us after the break, or the cat gets it. <laughs> <laughs> now that's how you go to commercial. Hey, that's that's great. I love that. You got you got to have that. You got to have that, man.
You gotta have that. That's fucking awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> it made uh, for a funny joke. It wasn't funny at the time. No. Because you don't do that to a cat. No. No. That's terrible. All right. Cool, man. Jesus. All right. So, so we're still in third. Three and a yep. half. They're at third. Uh, uh, Noel and uh, yep. Richard got three. They're at three now. So, so we're still in third place right now. Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz. It's summer and the hazy heat, the gentle waft of smoke, and the smell of roasting meat can only mean one thing. Your house is on fire. <laughs> <laughs> Let's remind ourselves of what happened in July and August. The Vatican said that the ordination of women was a sin on a par with paedophilia. Well, they'd know. <laughs> ah! <laughs> there was anger over plans to build a mosque at Ground Zero in New York. To this day, it remains the most controversial ever episode of Grand Designs. <laughs> right, ready for some questions? Yeah. Of course you are, okay. <laughs> Can you tell me who made an unexpected late night trip to the Hampstead branch of Snappy Snaps in July this year? What? No idea. Come on, you've got to fight back. What for? What for? <laughs> for glory, there's a, there's a prize. There's, a, there's, there's a... no glory. For glory. <laughs> it is glory if you win, come on. You right. can do this. We, we try, we're trying hard okay, now. We're trying hard. You could do oh, this. Look, you can come back. You can make them look like fools. I was on the street. Someone put me in a bin, and then when they opened it, I was here. I hadn't asked. Them. <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is how we booked well, Noel Fielder. <laughs> <laughs> have a look at this clip of Boris Johnson. What on earth is he talking about? Who'd have thought uh, last year that we were going to have this thing uh, on, on, the, on the international agenda? This is uh, now, I think, going to be the subject of intensifying national controversy. I know that there are moves to ban it, and I'm under some pressure to say now that we will not have them at the Olympics. I, I, you know, at the moment, I have to say I'm, I'm undecided. It's obviously a very, very intoxicating thing to parp, and people love parping it. I'm told uh, that they are increasingly popular in London. And we're going to have to look at it. All right, so what was he talking about? That's always the question I ask road, whenever I see him. Okay. Road flares. <laughs> road flares? At the Olympics. I mean, I doubt it, but like, uh, like what was it? What were those fucking annoying ass things in one of the Olympics that were just like the just noisemakers? Uh, air horns? Air horns? I don't know, man. They're like the Vava Zula or something like that. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I would think it's a noisemaker of some sort. I want to put it there. All right. Yeah. I I guess we're submitting. It, it, we're hedging our bets on either road flares, flares in general, and noisemakers. Yeah. I mean, granted, listen, man. There's no way flares are allowed at an Olympics. No. So I think it's going to be a noisemaker. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Then again, it's coming from Boris Johnson, and it, 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 that dude just seems like he's drunk all the yeah. time. Or, or he could like. Be Banning smiles or clapping. Yeah, so. yeah. And for our next question, it's over to the stars of Channel 4's Excellent Misfits. Hi, Hi Jimmy. Jimmy. Now, as you know, we all play characters with superpowers and misfits. But can you tell me which unlikely pundit's predictive powers gained him worldwide fame during the World Cup? Hmm? Mm. Is his superpower the tight <sighs> perm? <laughs> no idea. I've it's actually exactly the seen sort that of thing show. you would guess. Really, you have? Yeah, 2010. I saw a little bit of that show. It's kind of weird. I I, I I didn't mind it, but it was it was kind of wild. But yeah, 2010. I, was, I I know I know that show. So. Okay. All cool. Right. Oh well. It's that crazy, is it? <laughs> Lord only knows what they're writing down. Okay. The country was gripped by the dramatic standoff between gunman Raoul Moat and the police, which took a bizarre twist when Paul Gascoigne turned up to try to help. <laughs> Can you name three things Paul Gascoigne brought with him? No idea. Yes. So what did Paul Gascoigne bring along <laughs> to try and help the Ralmo situation? <laughs> OK, and for the next question, it's back to the kids of Mitchell Brook Primary School for another one of their one-of-a-kind school plays. They're terrible. Welcome to our show about cars. Yeah! This is our secret friend.
Oh, the Top Gear, uh, the mystery driver. Uh, we found out who he was. Mm -hmm. Although I, I don't know who he was. Yeah. I just remember it vaguely from the Jeremy Clarkson documentary we we did. So that's 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 what so that the is. Mystery driver. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Answers. I ask you, who took an unexpected trip to Snappy Snaps in Hampstead? Okay, you've gone for Alan and Michael. George Michael. <laughs> Which is the correct answer? That, that, is, that is right. You've gone for John. Well, Michael? we've gone. We've got inside information. George Michael, Wham. Just in case people didn't remember, Yog, because Yog is his nickname. <laughs> Where did you find this out? Was it on a piece of graffiti in Hampstead? No, somewhere? Yog is his nickname. What, what does Yog? Does it mean something? I don't Isn't know. It you, Yo, G. No, it's like, Yog. Yo, 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 G. Yo, G. You're about the least urban person in the world. <laughs> and I know it's Yog because I've been. Okay, I'm dropping. It. I've been in his house when people have called him that name. He didn't know I was there. But, uh, <laughs> I was actually, I've been round his house since he came out from his little spell away. That's I know. He actually phoned me while he was inside. Inside what? <laughs> Did he say, can you keep my moustache and beard while I'm in prison? <laughs> <laughs> I just smuggle it out for him. <laughs> Noel, Richard, what did you go with? Wambar. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you yeah, that. I think, yeah. I think you knew the answer, clearly. Yeah. yeah. Have, we got the, have we got a picture? Have we got a picture of him? <laughs> <laughs> is that graffiti done in pencil? I mean, are there, is, that, is that a preliminary sketch and they're going to see how it is and then go back to <laughs> <laughs> it? Was, do it in pencil first. I'm not sure about it. <laughs> is that funny? Yeah, it's is good. It's like a midget fancy. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying... <laughs> what is that also that of all the shops on the high street? <laughs> to crash into. Snappy Snaps is the most visible. <laughs> I don't think he chose the shop he was going to crash if into. You're gonna he not wasn't cruising it. up and down going, which one will it be tonight? <laughs> he definitely was cruising up and down saying, which one will it be tonight? <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly what he was doing. <laughs> OK. We saw Boris Johnson rabbiting on about something or other. What did you think he was talking about? Jonathan, you went for... OK, no, I didn't go for anything. You can guess which one of us wrote this down. <laughs> and she's shifting uncomfortably even now. Not uncomfortably. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ruth, you, you, you went with bombing. I guess you didn't know what he was talking about there. I mean, look at, look at his face now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, no, he's tiny... Balls. <laughs> They're like bird's eye peas. I've seen them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like when you see them in the freezer and they've escaped from the bag <laughs> and they've gone in on themselves. <laughs> We're looking at that. Looking at that. <laughs> These tiny frozen balls. <laughs> and they're also green. <laughs> I'm going to have to say you're wrong. You don't oh. get a point for that. Oh, come on. Uh, Michael and Alan, what do you think? Vavuzela. <laughs> <laughs> is that a lady place? What? <laughs> Vuvuzela. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you say? For JJ? Is that when you decorate your vagina? Is that it? The dancing, isn't it? Vajazzle. Yeah. Vajazzle. He was talking about vajazzling at the Olympics. Making. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Oh. oh, dude, this fucking episode, man. Yeah. The course the gay guy can say it oh, say that kind of stuff. <laughs> for jazzling. <Yes. sighs> oh, oh, oh man, okay. Uh. <sighs> for jazzle. Yeah. If that's right, I get talking it. Talking about the jazzling at the Olympics, making it a sport. <laughs> <laughs> The 100 meter of a jazzle. <laughs> I am so watching that. Oh, I know. Let's hear from the man himself. I'm not going to diss the Bubazela. It's a fantastic machine, you know. It's a wonderful device. It's a wonderful yeah. skill device. I, I, well, it's not, easy, it's not difficult. <laughs> uh, Bubazela was the right answer. Okay. Um, oh, good. Okay. Well, what answer did we give? Noisemaker and Bubazela. Okay. Yep, yep. We get the point. We get the point. Yep. We're up to 4.5. 4. 4. 5. 5. Yes. Taking over, bro. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Okay, the misfits ask you who showed uncanny powers of prediction during the World Cup. What did you put? Alan and Michael, you've gone for octopus. Jonathan. We, we put uh, octopusy from Germany. Was his name for an extra point to me? Bluey. Uh, no, but I will take a point away because he was called Paul. <laughs> the German word for Paul is blowy. <laughs> No, Richard. Uh, what, what did you I go put with? that German snail, but I meant octopus. <laughs> <laughs> so genuinely, that was just a stab in the dark guess, <laughs> and you got to German snail. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't know anything about blowy <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> blowy, whatever it's <laughs> called. And Good old blowy. Why Paul the octopus? Sounds like a dickhead. <laughs> 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 but... <laughs> Let's go back to the misfits and find out for sure. The answer was, of course, Paul the psychic octopus. Oh who correctly predicted the outcome of World Cup matches. <laughs> they seem a little bit miffed we didn't know it. <laughs> OK, I asked you what gas... Did we have a guess for that one? No. No, we didn't have one. Gaza brought Raoul Moat during his standoff with the police. <laughs> Did you get it? We went for... Fishing rod, chicken no. and lager. <laughs> that, those are all correct. You could have also had a dressing gown. Did he bring him a dressing gown? He, or bought, he brought it? him. I, I'm, I'm very. I'm Sorry. amazed that it ended in tragedy <laughs> because he brought him some chicken, some lager, a fishing rod, and a dressing gown. Oh. We should send Gaza to the Middle East. He's really got some <laughs> ideas. <laughs> He's thinking outside the box. <laughs> uh, you went for uh, chicken, <laughs> lager, fishing rod. You yeah. got that as well. Well, we bring football as well. But okay, he didn't bring but... a football. But you still get it. Okay, no, and Richard went with. Remote control parrots. <laughs> so is that two separate answers, remote control and parrots? No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be an idiot. <laughs> remote control parrots, Tizer and Corks. <laughs> but he did have two remote control parrots. So this is Paul Gaskell who had remote control parrots? Yeah, he's got two. <laughs> so remote Paul... control parrots, that is massive. That's the best thing I've ever heard. <laughs> And I looked on the internet to get some, and you can't get them. I don't know where he got them from. I bought them all up the week before. <laughs> <laughs> OK, uh, we asked the children of Mitchellbrook Primary School uh, to present another one of their unique school plays. What do you think they were acting out? The, the stig. Stig. With the a little stig. baby Richard Hammond. Um, OK, you gone with the stig, uh, Jonathan? We went Ruth? with the stig identity crisis. And you went for Noel Barry Richard. Sheen. <laughs> I've just demonstrated that you can actually do calligraphy with this pen. <laughs> Barry Sheen in calligraphy. <laughs> I don't see how that could be any more wrong. <laughs> OK, well, the answer was, of course, the stig. OK, now for a special... We got it. We got yep. the point. What are we up to now? Five and a half? Five and a half. There we go. We're on a roll. We're on a roll. <laughs> we got this. We got this. <sighs> Bonus round. I'm going to show you stills from three of this year's biggest movies, uh, which have all been subtly improved. Can you tell me what the films are? OK. <laughs> <laughs> Toy Story 4 or 3? 2010. 2010. Uh, oh, no, I saw Toy Story 4. I remember I saw Toy Story 4 with my ex in theaters. So this is Toy Story 3. Yep. I'm going to say Toy Story 3, but it's Toy Story. You. We'll get the point no matter what. Yep. Okay. Why would you do that, first? Jimmy? Why would you take a beautiful family image and rape it? I think that's better. <laughs> that is better than it was. OK, the second one? <laughs> I should have got that right. Oh! No, Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. OK, got it, got it. And the third? <laughs> oh, my God, that's kick-ass. That's kick-ass. That's it. Uh Okay, you, you carried us there, so w hopefully we'll get all three. All right. <laughs> okay, you get a point here. You get a point for each film. Noel, Richard, surely to God you can get one of those. I'm really glad I'm on Jonathan's team, because the last time I think I went to the cinema was probably to see Star Wars in 1978. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, I can tell you... Okay, that was Toy Story 3, Alice in Wonderland. Again, because they made her forehead big, but mine is naturally like that. <laughs> <laughs> and the last one from Kick-Ass. <laughs> I, could, I could play a seven-year-old. There we go. Three more Two, points, so... Five, six, seven, eight. Eight point five. Eight point five. All right, Dance all right. I'm almost at double digits right now. You're almost there. I've got youthful skin. 
Okay, well, let's see what you got. Okay. He's a film director. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> Toy Story 3, Alice yeah. in Wonderland, kick ass. They've got absolutely right. Thank you. Thank you. you got to hand it to him. Yeah. As have Alan and Michael and Jonathan and Ruth, okay. but he, well, I'm much more impressed right. with you. Well done. I'm going to leave now. <laughs> leave on a high. <laughs> Not even joking. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you all got those right. Let's have a quick look at the scores. I tell you that Alan and Michael have 16, Jonathan and Ruth are in the lead with 17, Nolan, Richard, seven. <laughs> Still in third place Still by a point place. and a half. Still in third place, yep. Hell yeah. Join us after the break when we'll be finding out the results of the paternity test. Can't wait. <laughs> Welcome back to the Big Fat Quiz of the Year, and we're back to school with September and October. Let's remind you what was going on. Wayne Rooney was in the doghouse. You know, the doghouse. It's Liverpool's premier brothel. <laughs> Colleen was worried that Wayne was up to his old tricks again, but on this occasion, it turned out to be two young tricks at the same time. <laughs> oh. William Haig denied rumours he was gay after sharing a hotel room with a male colleague. So William Haig's not gay. To be honest, I was more surprised when I found out he wasn't a giant baby. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a look at some more questions. Uh, time for another guest question. This time it's from Big Fat Quiz's BFF, Russell Brand. Um. Hello, Jimmy. I'm sorry I can't be there with you to be on Big Fat Quiz of the Year. I no longer live on a conventional calendar or acknowledge New Year's, Christmas festivities. I've got my own calendar now. It's based on a decimal system. But I have decided to participate in your big fat quiz and your big fat money spinning <laughs> career by asking a question to the people there. Hello, Richard Iwadi. Hello, Michael McIntyre. Hello, Jonathan. Jonathan! <laughs> The question is this. We all know that a Pope came to our country this year. I believe it was in, hmm, September. But how did a Cardinal cause offence to our people, the people of Britain, by saying a thing that was offended to us? What was the thing that was said? Answer it, remember it, then say it. I'll do a funny version first, but then say it. <laughs> <laughs> that is some chaotic energy from Russell. Just Holy crap. One. Oh, he's just... Like, just how his brain works is just, it's like running laps I, around uh, everything, even if it, whether it's smart or not. Yeah. Um, so wait, what was the question, bro? What was said that was insulting to the, a pope that was yeah, said by what, a cardinal? Yeah, yeah, that was the question. Any ideas? None, bro. I don't have any. None. Either. God love him. Okay, so, so what did a cardinal say? <laughs> A cardinal said something pretty bad about this great nation. I know it. I told him, and he didn't believe. He couldn't believe that the cardinal would say such a thing. I well, know. I know. <laughs> Don't I? I just turned that into like what? some gossip, didn't <laughs> yeah. I? Mean, yeah. I'm shocked uh, by it. It's pretty bad, isn't it? It's yeah, pretty bad. Out of order. Okay. So have a look at this five-star shithole. Can you tell me where it is? This is from the brochure. <laughs> That's hard, wasn't it? What is, is that a sink? Here's another guest question. This time, it's from Jamie Oliver, everyone's favourite chef. Hi, Jimmy. Last year, I spent a whole load of time teaching Americans how to do something a bit different with food. Can the teams tell me how one American put 40 pounds of Argentinian grilling steak to good use at a big award ceremony? Oh, I don't know. We cooked it and gave it wore to it. the homeless. Wore, wore it. it. Wore it. Oh, ah. OK. Wore it. Wore it. Grilling steak? I don't know. I, it, if it's American, it probably did something completely terrible with it. So yeah, <laughs> that was easy. How are you doing, Richard? You all right? I don't know. I drifted off a bit, to be honest. <laughs> but um, I didn't. It, yeah. Didn't it? Generally. Well, do you think? Good. They you know, just checking in. Just oh yeah, yeah, talk. yeah. Now, I'll tell you what. Um, actually, it's very hard in our place to get the cold water pressure up. <laughs> You know what I mean? The shower, and that's it's just a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, and that's fine. <laughs> you know, as in it's very hot, the shower. And we actually have to run the hot water just to, you know, take the edge off. 
This what? isn't for you, lot. This is just the... Yeah. Pro just checking in with how Richard's doing. Apparently, the cold water pressure, yeah. not great, but we'll try and... I guess we just have to, you know, soldier on. Sorry, I, I just made the mistake of genuinely responding to your question, which I thought was... A... <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was an inquiry. I always imagined you as a bath man. You have showers? <laughs> Are you high up? Is your flat high up? It is. But the cold water, <laughs> it can't reach high enough. Well, the cold water the might water. be in a tank above, even. We don't have a tank. I took the tank out. That might be the... That might be the problem. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you take yeah. the tank out? Because I wanted to put a big bean bag. <laughs> Rather yeah. than a water tank? Yeah. Can you not get a plumber? This, uh, this is what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I can get a plumber, but I want a reliable one, Ruth. Get Knock a Welsh out. one. Get a Welsh one. I live in London. No. <laughs> I have a plumber. I have a plumber for you. Has anyone got any clue what we're meant to be doing yes. at this point? <laughs> we were just about to solve it. Richard, I have a plumber. He's got his own plumber. <laughs> OK, time for another years. Say What You See question. <laughs> 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 <sighs> The most legendary sidetrack is <laughs> fuck about Richard's lack of cold oh. water in his flat. Oh God! I'll just. Get... <sighs> oh. I love him, dude. Oh. He's yeah, he's awesome. He's in Richard's invited to the cookout. Yeah, man. That's for sure. That's. That's my new gauge of if someone's oh. cool or not. Are they invited to the cookout? Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. There will be some pictures. You will say what you see. No one will talk about baths or showers. <laughs> no one. <laughs> okay, time for another say what you see question. Can you tell me what the headline is? Oh, not oh. one of these. Okay, okay. Grass, hopper, match, woo, Baby, oh. sonogram baby. Uh, Rick, is that Ric Flair? No. Who's that? Oh, Jimmy Savile. He is painted that, your mom. Is that okay? That's that's uh, Savile. Grasshopper and... lit Jimmy. Uh, is that is that a? I don't think that's a match. Is it? That's one of those like twiglets in something, right? No, that that's a match. That's a match. It looks uh, so match. So, um, uh, Hopper, grass, Hopper, Hopper, uh, match, Jimmy, cricket match. Let's put it there. Cricket match, Jimmy, uh, sonogram, infant, doll. In fact, uh, bro, what? what? Fetus doll? <laughs> Not a fetus doll. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm just trying to sound it out. Do <laughs> process of elimination. It's definitely 100 million percent. <laughs> Not Jimmy Savile fucking boom fetus doll. Peter. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh no! Oh God! Okay. So no what? Idea. What are we going? Okay, okay. Let's just move on. It's going to be a cricket one. match. Yeah, cricket, cricket. match. Something. Uh, Jim, Jim, womb doll. Jim, Jim, Jim. Uh, Jim fetus doll. <laughs> uh, Jim fetus doll. That's it. Done. Done. Nailed it. No, uh, I'm just gonna write the point down. <laughs> cricket <laughs> match. Jim Fetus doll. Yeah, because we got more than half of it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh. Oh. Is it <laughs> oh, for God's sake, Jimmy. <laughs> Come on, get something down. Oh, oh my God. God. Almost inadvertently done it. Okay. Can I just say, someone on Facebook is pretending to be me. And they put a scan, a picture of a scan on the other day and said, oh, James Corden sent me a picture of his baby scan, as if I would do that. Oh, that's outrageous. So can I just say... I'm oh, even... Got it. Cricket match Jim Scandal. Got yes. it. Got it. Yeah, it's me, Facebook. sorry. <laughs> well, stop it. <laughs> I was told by someone on Twitter... To get a life, 
And the person who said it called herself the real Anne Boleyn. <laughs> Tudor. <laughs> okay, Russell Brand asked you how a cardinal caused offence ahead of the Pope's visit. Okay, <laughs> Alan and Michael, what do you what, what do you think the cardinal said? He said that we were like a third world country. <laughs> Jonathan Ruth, I didn't have any clue of this at all. I thought it was probably to do with condoms because he usually is harping on about that and saying they're a sin, isn't he? Okay, Richard and Noel, what did you uh, go? We wrote Iggy Pope. Did you go? <laughs> And I drew a Pope, but then crossed his face out. <coughs> Couldn't look at his stupid face. And I said, the Pope said we were wank. <laughs> OK, let's go back to Russell Brand and see what the, uh, the answer was. The correct answer to that question, now that you've indulged yourselves in ridiculous and unnecessary banter, probably writing <laughs> things down, doing drawings. Me and Noel Fielding started that. No one used to do funny drawings before. Me and Noel Fielding done the first time we won, which we won, quite rightly. The answer is that Cardinal Walter Casper said arriving in Britain is sometimes like arriving in a third world country. He said that about us. And they don't want us to bring down the church and all religions. Happy Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> so it's like arriving in a third world country is y'all let it let me know is that stansted airport in a nutshell right there because i've been told that was the first mistake i made was flying in and out of stansted airport mm, mm. well you know what though the same could be said if you uh arrived in baltimore yeah B bwi yeah yeah you could uh, and i would be like fair point yeah fair point fair point, fair point. We y'all saw the wire, so yeah, yeah. fair point. Mm-hmm. Awesome, everyone. Nice to see you. Yeah, where is he now? Sad, really. <laughs> I asked you uh, where these yeah. grotty photos were taken. What did you have? Premier in York. <laughs> <laughs> Henry lives there. I know. <laughs> Even he was coming out as I was going in. <laughs> we thought, was this in the this in the news? <laughs> this is where the Commonwealth Games, the hotels that people are staying for the Commonwealth Games. This was the, 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 the basically the, the athletes' village uh, is where these photos oh. were taken. The athletes, and this was about a week before or ten days before the games were due to start, and they were in this condition. Uh, Noel and Richard, where did you think these photos were taken? We put Michaels. <laughs> That's my house. But not no, Mike. No. Not you. Bublé. Bublé. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I didn't even realize that was a question. Uh, Michael Bublé. Michael Bublé. That's what he does waiting for that 12th month to get here. Is yeah. it my, my Christmas songs are coming out soon. I gotta, mm -hmm. I gotta shape up. Mm hmm. Cross that out. You've not been there. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Oliver wanted to know which American made use of 40 pounds of steak at an award ceremony. Anyone remember? Lady Gaga. You got okay. it. Wonderful. Okay, Jonathan Ruth. We said Lady Gaga's. We put Lady Gaga Gaga because uh, you got excited by the thought of Lady Gaga. Her dress. Okay, and dress. Noel and Richard. Wait. What did you put? I put he grilled it first off. <laughs> and then I put Gaga bra underneath. <laughs> OK, uh, let's go over to Jamie and see what he thought it was. Of course, it was Lady Gaga. She wore an entire dress made out of meat. It's not that weird, because actually, I've got a nice pair of pants made out of pork. It's normal. <laughs> <laughs> you sure about that, Jamie Oliver? No. Yep. All right. Uh, well, that's so, a point. That's a point. What are we up to? 9.5. 9.5. We're almost at double digits. Man. Mm-hmm. Oh, got that exactly wrong. Well, well done, yeah. everyone. Was it actual? It was actual beef, mate. It was just... actual beef. Well, but the thing is, when she was sat down, right, did she have knickers on? And if she didn't, that means she was actually sitting and her fufu was on some actual beef. <laughs> <laughs> it was apparently a, an anti-war statement. Oh, I see. Yeah, statement. that's clear, wasn't it? OK, next up uh, was the Say What You See puzzle. What did you get? Alan got this. Yeah. Go, go, go. Alan Cricket got this. Cricket match fixing scandal. Wow. Oh! oh! Jim will fix it. 
But still, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Fixing? Scan. Oh, scan. The, okay. Damn it. Oh. Wow. Fixing scandal. Yeah. Jim will fix it. Okay. But hey, we got most of it. Let's we, give we, us a half a point. Half a point. We're up to 10 now. Because, hey, man. Hey, listen. Not not a lot of people from this side of the, the pond would get cricket match and the Savile reference. Yeah. All right? Yeah. <sighs> And to anybody who disagrees that we deserve that point, Jimmy Savile, he yeah. fingered your mom. Dude. Oh, man. That was like, that was like, what, two years ago? Three years ago? Three years ago. That was like mm. right as we we're coming out of the Oasis days. Well, it's still during the Oasis days. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Jonathan Ruth, you got that? We got cricket match fix scandal. Fine, oh. that will do. Uh, Nolan Richard? <laughs> we got a cricket match, then we ran out of steam, so I just drew Jimmy Savile. <laughs> Dude, that's uncanny. <laughs> I think it looks like that's it. That's pretty good, actually. <laughs> uh, let's have a quick look at the scores. Let's just quickly check in. Alan and Michael have 19 points. Jonathan and Ruth are just ahead with 20 points. Noel and Richard have got eight. <laughs> hey, we're ahead by two points. Oh, yeah. Okay. Now, as a special treat, we've got a bonus round all about this year's television. Before the invention of TV, people had to entertain themselves by watching talent shows or dancing competitions. <laughs> all that's changed now, of course. Let's have a look at some of this year's highlights. Just a small town girl. Starship Whittaker. She took the midnight train going anywhere. Ah. This. On the dog time. It's your ultimate housemate, Brian! The name's Sherlock Holmes and the address is 221B Baker Street. Blanked on it. I so there's the end of in betweeners. I recognize that one. Uh, there was another thing that I wanted to touch on, but I can't remember what it was. It was a doc- uh, it wasn't Doctor Who? Oh, Glee. Yeah. Was that the year of Glee? 2010, possibly. possibly. Yeah, I think it was when Glee uh, touched down because Glee was a huge thing. Fucking, it was yeah. a movement, dude. Yeah, yeah. Hell, there was even a Glee club. Uh, Found it in my high school's theater department that lasted like two shows, like no. and opened for our improv, uh, 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 troupe twice and just crashed and burned. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, Glee Club. Wow. I, yeah. Hey, I don't know, man. I, I was I was out and living my my worst life in 2010. So right, right. So you avoided that. Uh, yeah, I but mean, when I came back, I was like, what the fuck is going on what is everyone talking about yeah like, what yeah. happened don't ever yeah. leave again yeah <laughs> yeah i was just thinking like where have i heard that version of don't stop believing i was like glee glee oh okay you saw a clip from ultimate big brother there which featured the memorable housemates from across all the series but what improbable explanation did everyone's favorite screaming halfwit nikki graham suggest for fellow housemate nadia's apparent grumpiness and the clue is, it was improbable. <laughs> OK. You got that? OK. Love Junior it. Apprentice I aired this year, you. giving a group of teenagers the chance to kickstart their business careers. But what reason did 17-year-old Tim Ankers yeah. give for not making enough cheese yeah. snack boxes? So what? Yeah. Apprentice? Oh, the-, the Apprentice. Ah, that was... That was what Donald Trump was known for b- before he became our 45th Commander-in-Chief. Yeah. Wait. Um, are there, wasn't was there only one, or was there a UK apprentice as well? I'm not sure. I think. Well, currently there was, because uh, if there was a junior apprentice, there had to be a regular apprentice. Huh. I don't know who the uh, who the Donald was over in the UK, or if it huh. was the Donald. I don't know. I have no idea. 
The junior apprentice. This was junior apprentice. You know, the young. Did you not see it? Junior apprentice. Yes, it was, it was incredible. Quite... Alan Sugar was hiring children. <laughs> You're not allowed to hire children. No wonder the economy is fucked. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. If you, because like they're looking for the, the next wave of entrepreneurs and businessmen, but and you are both brilliant comedians. But if you didn't do that, could you get a job? You think what would you do? I can't imagine you having a proper job, Michael. Have you ever had a job in the real world? Am I on the Jonathan Ross show? No, no. <laughs> no one's on the fucking Jonathan Ross show anymore. <laughs> I've had jobs. I took raisins off the back of a lorry for fruit and fibre. You took raisins <laughs> off the back of a lorry? Is Not that why they grow them? They're in boxing. <laughs> <laughs> what would I won't you... me lunch. <laughs> do you know what I would do if I wasn't what I do? I would like to marry people. Like, be a registrar. That's nice. I think they're bigamist or something. <laughs> <laughs> I did work in a bakery for one day. But the boss went off, and I, when he came out, I was lying down eating cakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the best thing about that is I know 100% absolutely true. <laughs> yeah, it's so true. It's brilliant. Okay, all right. Have you all got something for these? Final one. Alan, uh, okay. So, <laughs> uh, again, they're riffing on just mundane stuff again, like they yeah. always do. And who is Alan Sugars? Was he. The equivalent of t the UK, what Donald Trump was to The Apprentice I, I in would the US? Assume, I would assume so. I would assume so. I've never heard of him. I haven't either. Who is he and what does he do? Yeah. And will he run for prime minister? <laughs> yeah. Let me know. That, yeah. Oh, God. <sighs> Take a look at this clip from this year's I'm a Celebrity. Oh, You're all right, you right here. Oh, Just a couple of deep breaths. Okay. <laughs> we'll explain exactly what's going on, no, okay? I feel really ill. Oh, 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 let's oh, get Bob oh. in. Oh. Wow. Hey, that was uh, Gillian McKeith there from uh, How Clean Is Your Poo, or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> whatever nonsense she used to present, the made-up doctor. Um, <laughs> Made up. I'm more of a doctor than she is. Anyway, <laughs> Gillian McKeith there. But can you name three things she smuggled into the jungle in her knickers? Oh, I know one. And when I say smuggled into the jungle in her knickers, that is not a euphemism. Genuinely, she smuggled stuff into the jungle in her knickers. <laughs> Have a guess. Come on. Okay. All right. Here we go. No idea. I wanted to know what explanation Nikki gave for oh. Nadia's grumpiness in Ultimate Big Brother. Did anyone get this? We thought period. She might have thought she was menstruating. OK. And that's because you gave us a heavy clue there. I did give you a clue there, Jonathan. Interestingly, Richard and Noel decided to ignore that heavy clue. <laughs> and they went with... Hay fever. <laughs> I've never watched Big Brother. And look at, I'd, look at her face. Why Just would I want to watch that? that. <laughs> she is hilarious. All right, I'll show you, I'll show you what she board. said. I'll show you what she said. I'll look at this. You know what Nadia's like when she's trying to talk? It's almost like she kind of talks quite loudly. And there was only a place, do you know what I mean? But in this house, it sounds you crazy, isn't it? Maybe naughty is on her period. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Unlikely, but maybe. <laughs> Michael, you went with uh, pregnant. No, well, <laughs> you said she was on her period. <laughs> Yes. And you, you spell that you how? Cheated. You spelled that our way. <laughs> no, OK, you put pregnant. OK, I asked you for the explanation Tim Ankers gave for his poor cheese-selling abilities. What did you put? We put child labour is wrong. I <laughs> <laughs> put a statement rather than the actual answer. OK. Um, oh, <laughs> incredibly. Oh, Jonathan and Ruth, you've gone for... Too, it was too windy. I love that show. He was making it out there. When they asked him, I'm sure that's the yeah. answer, and he said it was too windy, which had nothing to do with making cheese rolls, but obviously it was the thing he remembered for his nice day out. OK. <laughs> Noel and Richard, you... Yeah. Incredibly. <laughs> he said wind, and I added windy pops. pops. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that situation. There's no way he could have done it under those conditions it was I mean it was it was gale force you know, gale force it was and very blustery the, the problem was he had crackers and they were just flying out like hail because they are lighter than you think crackers they're very aren't they? they're lighter than wind is the problem. <laughs> uh, let's have a look 
I know it's like a small thing, but it was like a wind tunnel behind us. I was doing the, the packed lunches, but then I, you know, there were customers waiting, so I thought it's more important to Didn't get Can you sell customers. them straight away as soon as you made them? Yeah, they were going. Like well, hotcakes. Why didn't you make any more then? I wanted to make more. Who well, stopped you? The customers being there, there weren't enough people in the store. Oh, not the wind now then? Oh, oh and the, yeah. And the wind, the wind also. Yeah. <laughs> wind is my least favourite weather type. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was my best thing ever. Wind is my least yeah. My least favourite. I mean, we've all got a top three least favourite weather times. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> OK. All right, did anyone get what Gillian McKeith was smuggling into the jungle in her knickers? OK, Jonathan Ruth? Oh, yes. Spices. Spices. Herbs and spices. What's her what? name? She's called Gillian McKeith. Oh, I thought it was Rod Hull. No, she did not. <laughs> no, 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 she said to me, Jesus. Ruth didn't say she said, did she put them up? <laughs> Ruth! Jokes. Well, it seems like the, that's what they do going through airports, isn't it? Well, we're finding all about your past now, aren't we? <laughs> uh, Norman Richard, what did you go with? Uh, Sean Ryder. <laughs> Sean <laughs> Ryder? <laughs> and you've also gone with Richard? A clock and rubies. <laughs> Alan, Michael, what did, you, what did you get for this? Well, we did salt, George Foreman, lean, mean grilling machine. <laughs> 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 Expression yeah. on her face, you can see. <laughs> Look, I think she's left it on by mistake. Oh yeah. Did. I could Well, you could have had. You could have had a uh, miso soup, dry and liquid. Oh. Stock cubes, oh. rock salt, dried herbs, nettle tea bags, chili and garlic powder. In Gillian's defence, oh. all of those things should be stored in a, a dry, cold place. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Damn, dude. Damn. Burn! Ah! Damn. Zing! Yeah, man. Start oh, in a shit. cold, dry place. <laughs> yes. Uh, with, with all I know about cooking and my culinary leaning mind, I appreciate that joke. <laughs> Good job, Jimmy Carr. A really dirty, ready, steady cook, isn't it? <laughs> so what's what have you got? Well. <laughs> okay, now, because you've been so good, we've got a special guest for you. Oh. One of this year's breakout stars. It's Mr. Louis Spence. Yeah! Nice to see you. Yeah, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Louis, you look uh, fantastic as ever. Yeah, I do, don't I? Of course Actually, I made do. an effort. I'm like you. <laughs> I made an effort for you. <laughs> yeah, but come on, it's meant to be the new year, isn't it? A bit of sparkle or something, you boring <laughs> fart. Damn. Can I ask Louis a question? I was just wondering if you had to come out to your parents. <laughs> <laughs> Babe, I was born out. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I just came out like this. <laughs> <Yay>! <laughs> Okay, now Louis, you're here for a reason. Yeah. You're gonna, as a as a as a as a gift to the nation, you're gonna enact one of the biggest news stories of the year yeah. in interpretive dance. Yeah. And <laughs> our panel have to guess what the news story is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna step back. <laughs> well, I think I've popped a button. Uh, judges' comments. Powerful. <laughs> okay, you've got to write down what was the news story. I mean, that was an incredible. Piece of, it was more of a piece of theatre. Remarkable. Beautiful, Louis. I was moved. I tears. was very moved. <laughs> 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 Definitely. I know what Alan's thinking. <laughs> that was my favourite bit. Happy. <laughs> See, I don't need to. Oh, it's hilarious. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I've got a bit dizzy. All right, I think I have a. I think I have a shot in the dark. Okay. Okay. When when did they rescue those Chilean miners? I don't know. Ah, uh, that's what I want to go. That's what I want to go for. Ch Chilean miners. Okay. Rescue. Okay. I, think so. I can't well. believe Louis Spence is here. <laughs> so excited. Alan, what have you put? Jane McDonald leaving loose women. <laughs> it was that bit across the thing. <laughs> that was it. I thought that's Jane. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, John, Jonathan and Ruth, you we were... uh, we think this was Wayne Rooney's baby being conceived, and then over here it was being born. <laughs> and it 
was How did excited they... by the, the and signing interest. autographs. Well, I mean, our last our last hope is is Noel and Richard. <laughs> I didn't even get a chance to touch <laughs> the pen. <laughs> You thought um, it was Downton Abbey? Yeah. <laughs> you thought that dance was about Downton Abbey? Yeah. That one. So clearly, he was <laughs> the Chilean miners. Oh. Oh. You got oh. it! Oh, did you not get Did you get that, ladies oh. and gentlemen? They yeah. all got that. I thought right. that was an incredible piece of interpretive dance. Oh. Ladies yes. and gentlemen, one more time, oh. Mr. Louis Fagan. Oh. Oh. Couldn't get any better than that. Sorry. Sorry. Wow. Oh, no, we're going to do scores. Oh. Oh. And Michael have 20. Oh, oh. my God. You get we get the point. Wow, bro. From wow. that major interpretive dance. Wow. You pulled that right out of your ass. Bro. And well, now we're up to when, because I didn't points. notice it when he was spinning, I was like, that's a drill. That has yeah. to be a drill. And I yeah. was like, Oh, he couldn't see. They did some they had to get close to sleep. And then when they got out, they were all famous and they couldn't see shit. Yeah. So yeah. boom. My, that's I'm more proud of that one point than anything else on this show so far in my life. <laughs> <sighs> what are we at? Eleven now. Eleven. Yeah. Yay. Points. <laughs> Jonathan and Ruth are in the lead with ten three. Noel and Richard have nine, nine points. Well, Louis has promised to polish up my Charleston, <laughs> so we're gonna have a quick break. See you in two. <laughs> back to the big fat quiz of the year as the fireworks of november career uncontrollably into the hedge of december let's remind ourselves what happened all those months ago george w bush released his memoirs they remain to this day spellcheck's greatest ever achievement <laughs> <laughs> students took to the streets to protest at increased tuition fees students will find it very hard to find a job if they were involved in the rioting or if they weren't <laughs> Ireland's economy effectively went bust. The situation has got so bad, they've put in place a special task force to start double-checking the ends of rainbows. <laughs> oh, shit. Let's crack on uh, with the final part of the quiz. Yeah. Right. Of course, it wouldn't be the big fat quiz without a news flash from Jon Snow in the Channel 4 newsroom. He's got a special bulletin here based on one of the year's biggest songs. Over to you, Jon. A deranged aristocrat and her ample-booted companion have complained to the authorities after being bombarded with nuisance phone calls. The pair issued a plea for the prankster to stop calling, stop calling, <laughs> revealing that he had caused a series of interruptions to their daily routine, most annoyingly ringing them in the club when they're sipping that bub. When asked to comment, one of the victims, famed for her eccentric attire, said, I'm kind of busy. Stop phoning me. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> oh okay, my so god. Song is, oh, is that uh, telephone with Lady Gaga and something yeah, like that? Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. I'm like, who was it by? Yep. Yep. Yeah, yeah, telephone, Lady Gaga, Beyonce. Jon Snow going on about. Come on, it's a big hit. Uh, is it? That's right. right. We don't, we, we've lost. There's no point. <laughs> okay. In December, angry activists launched revenge attacks on websites such as Amazon, PayPal, Mastercard, and Visa. Who are they defending? Oh, I don't know. Iwadi's on it. Okay, but I think Jonathan's got it. I think. Oh yeah. Yes. Okay. Have a look at this amazing piece of Taiwanese news footage. Can you tell me what story is being reenacted here? <音樂>英國威廉王子宣布 <laughs> what? I don't know. What? <laughs> but I am you... so confused. That's Prince William, right? Yeah, I think. Yeah. But you know where we've seen that type of news before, right? I'll give you a hint. Two of the cast members of that show are on this episode. IT crowd? 
the IT crowd, the internet is coming. And that new segment of, you know, whatever um, Jen and Roy did uh, to that homeless woman. Yeah. Contrary to what a lot of you think, <laughs> yeah. we actually did see it, yeah. despite the fact that the recording crapped out on us. Oh my God. And y'all IT crowd fans have not oh, forgiven man. us for it yet. But this is why we, we go through a bunch of checks now, guys. Just... We it's a learn it's a it's a big learning curve, guys. I mean, we Man. always do. It's just it was Thanksgiving nah. and I had family stuff. I slipped up one time, <laughs> and y'all give me so much shit for it. <laughs> Fuck all y'all. Dude. Hey, listen, it's wait, William. It's one of the royal bros. Yeah, yeah, it's one of the royal ones. Yeah, yeah. Uh, if we if it's anything to do with that, we get the point. No. Yep. <laughs> okay, what new story was that? Okay. Radio 4's James Nocte landed himself in hot water after mispronouncing someone's Nocte. name and accidentally swearing mm. in the process. Whose name did he get wrong? <laughs> <laughs> don't write what he said because he said a bad thing. I don't know. I don't I'll know. just check on what Richard's written before we say anything. I'll just have a little check. I didn't... Uh... <laughs> yeah, I don't know whether we can say that. <laughs> <laughs> ask, me, ask me what the Welsh word for first is. What's the Welsh word for first? Cuntav. <laughs> There's nothing rude. wrong with that. No. Nothing wrong with that, because that's Welsh. Ask me <laughs> what the Japanese word for Jimmy Carr is. <laughs> Let's move on with the show. <laughs> Welsh folk in the comments, confirm if what Rose said was correct. Yes, please. Yeah. Yes, please. Okay, Next Ruth, sorry. Have a look at this picture. What is it and why was it in the news? Oh, what's that? Trash bags? Like beans. It's <laughs> <laughs> new. It's a sign for new, isn't it? Is this a close up shot of what was in Julian McKee's knickers? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Boris, so we've reached the final question of the year. Who better to see us off than Seth Rogen? Have a look. Hi, Jimmy. I got a question about one of my all time favorite heroes, Mr. Dick Van Dyke. In November, he made the news after falling asleep on his surfboard, he drifted out to sea. Can the teams tell me what unlikely group of heroes came to his aid? So Dolphins. who saved Dick Van Dyke? Dolphins? Okay, we'll go with that. Sounds like a comedy song somehow. Okay, let's get something down. You ready for the final answers? Yeah. Jon Snow reported on one of the biggest songs of the year. Did you know what it was? Lady Gaga Telephone. Lady Gaga. Oh, like Beyonce did nothing on that track. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you go for, Noel Richard? We put Gaga. Yeah, Phony Gaga. That's phony fun. Gaga, that, yeah. w- that will do. Phony that's yeah. uh, that's a terrific oh, effort from so you. So points all round, then. I think near enough, yeah, why not? Okay. Yeah, we got the point. We got uh, the yeah. point. Uh, what yeah. are we up to? Twelve. Twelve. All right. All right. Okay. Can we have uh, 25 points for that? <laughs> <laughs> New. No. <laughs> I asked you who the people attacking Amazon, PayPal, Mastercard, and Visa were protecting. Uh, what did you put? I don't know the actual name, but it's like that WikiLeaks man, isn't it? Julian Assange is the guy's name, but WikiLeaks man will do. Uh, WikiLeaks oh, will do, Jonathan WikiLeaks. and Ruth. And you've gone for Nolan Richards. <laughs> okay, so you've gone for Wikipedia. It wasn't directly <laughs> under threat. Um, but that man has had to put up an appeal on the page. I don't know if you've seen it. Yes. And, uh, what is that appeal about? He just needs um, uh, someone to babysit for him. <laughs> uh, He's dominating the whole page. Yeah. You can't get a good sitter. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> well, no point. Okay. Uh, I... Man, I was I, I was going to guess anonymous. So I was I would have. I wouldn't have been, even been close, would I? Mm-hmm. No, no. Man. Damn. I asked you what story was being reenacted in this piece of Taiwanese news footage. Did you all get it? Prince William's engagement. To Kate Middleton. It was, of course, the royal engagement. When he did get engaged to her, I saw an interview on the BBC and the, the bloke that was doing the interview said, Did you say yes? I just thought, of course she <laughs> fucking said yes. Yeah. You idiot. She's got a massive ring on. They're here in the studio. Be embarrassing if she said no. Are you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you've all got that right? Yeah. So we get the point there. What are we, 13? 13, man. Let's see if we can go. Let's see if we can go for 14. I doubt it, but. Yeah. 
It's a shame Kate Middleton's missing now at the time of this recording. Yeah. Odd. Peculiar. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Guinea hmm. pigs. Guinea pigs. Yep. All right. I'm looking for. I, I'm really looking for the world wedding. Are you looking for oh, the world wedding? Yes. Are you gonna look? Are you gonna? Oh, yeah. are you gonna watch it? I'm counting down the days. Are you gonna wear something? <laughs> are you gonna wear something special when you watch your house? Taking Paul the octopus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna smuggle loads of meow meow in my knickers. <laughs> okay, I asked you whose name did Radio 4's James Nockerty get wrong? Hold it, James Nockerty. I thought it was James Naughty. Is it actually James Nockerty? It's pronounced Nockerty, but it's, uh, it's spelt Naughty. It's Nockerty, isn't it? It's not Nockerty. It's like Nockerty Knock. Nockerty Knock. But no wonder he's mispronouncing his other name. If his own name is Nockerty, no wonder when he looks at a normal name spelled down, he thinks, oh, it sounds like something else. <laughs> That's his accent, by the way. <laughs> he's Icelandic. He got Jeremy Hunt's name wrong. Uh, You've got to be careful on the radio, haven't you, Jonathan? He switched one letter. <laughs> ah! He switched one letter. <laughs> Two years. Two years, I know. Yeah, no, it's because he's the culture secretary. <laughs> you mix them up. Sorry, he's the culture secretary. That's it's... Jeremy Hunt. Yes. It's yes. interesting because you've written what? Formula One driver from 70s. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> James Hunt. Sorry. Let's have a listen. What's happening in the course of the next hour? Well, first I'll be talking to Jeremy Cunt, uh, Hunt, the culture secretary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit! This is, this is, he tries to stifle it's... it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh man. Uh, that's a anchor man go f yourself San Diego <laughs> moment right there. Yeah. That's a, yeah, I love that part of anchor man. Go fuck yourself San Diego. And he just like nothing happened. And everyone's like, "Oh, what did you just say?" Oh my mm. god. Yeah. Oh, and to man. think in in high school, in sophomore and junior year, I did our school's morning announcements, and I read. I am skilled in reading off of a teleprompter, and I totally could have done that, but oh my god! Luckily, I didn't. Mm. If if whoever was r writing out the script, they could have. They could have just you. totally fucked me. I did <laughs> enough of that on my own. <laughs> I didn't need it that. <laughs> you didn't need any help. Hold on, I dropped my pen. Jesus. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah, I gotta keep score. All right. At 8 o'clock on Monday, the 6th of December, American officials have condemned WikiLeaks after the website published a list of hundreds of facilities said to be vital for American security. Every community in Britain has been promised to have access to the fastest broadband networks for in five years. <laughs> Excuse me, and Egypt has called an international shark experts to investigate a series of attacks <laughs> in the Red Sea. <coughs> Pardon me, coffee. The news comes from Rory Morrison. I like the way he said Egypt once he'd really messed it up. He went, Egypt! <laughs> 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 okay, so Jeremy Hunt is the right answer. Oh, Noel and Richard, what did you get for that last one? John Pooh Bum. <laughs> John Pooh Bum <laughs> face. Ew, John Pooh Bum. <laughs> Probably for the best, you crossed out what you originally had there, which was <clears throat> very unpleasant. <laughs> I always thought they should do that at the watershed, because they say that nine o'clock is the watershed where you can swear. So on the nine o'clock news, they could go, doot, 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 fuck. <laughs> you into the water. <laughs> I'm Moira fucking Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> if you've just tuned in, Moira Stewart has changed. <laughs> OK, uh, I asked you to take a look at this picture. Why was it in the news? What did you get? It's a bacteria that eats... It's Gillian McKeith's pants. <laughs> no, it is, it is, uh, that's exactly the right answer. It is a bacteria oh. that eats arsenic. See, I told you. It's a brand-new form of life. Wow. That no one thought existed before. Oh. And Jonathan and Ruth, you went with? Well, I actually thought they were washed baked beans. We thought it was like a bad health thing, like a salmonella outbreak yeah. in perhaps a hospital. And you're what saying you, it's not you a top shot of a Kojak convention. <laughs> Kojak convention? <laughs> you thought that was an aerial photo of a Kojak convention? Okay. Seth yeah. Rogen wanted to know... This is a final question, final answer of the quiz. Okay, final one. Final Seth answer. Rogen wanted to know, who came to <laughs> Dick Van Dyke's aid when he floated out to sea? What did you put? Porpoise. <laughs> well, well, I, I wouldn't get... have put dolphin, but Michael said porpoise. <laughs> I upgraded his dolphin. 
a porpoise. Yeah, no porpoise. Is exactly... What did you go for, no Nolan Richard? We said uh, he slept with a porpoise with no Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> I, can, I, can, I can't <coughs> confirm that that is the right answer, but I will give you a point for that because it's got purpose in it. Got what in it? Where purpose. <laughs> you said purpose. <laughs> you said purpose. <laughs> sir, sir, you said purpose. <laughs> Jonathan Ruth, you went with. Poi. Poi you want a shit lightning and need thunder. I can only apologise, ladies and gentlemen. We all seem to have turned into Popeye in the last 20 minutes. Porpoise. What is the purpose of that? Jimmy, here's the thing about this story. Who told us about the porpoises rescuing Dick Van Dyke? I think it was Dick Van Dyke. Dick Van Dyke. So he fell asleep on a surfball and he reckons porpoises pushed him into land. Who, sorry? Poibuses. So, Dick Van Dyke was, for many years, a very heavy drinker and, by his own admission, an alcoholic. To the extent that, and I've read his book when it came out, which was very good, he says that when he went to see Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, you've all seen Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, it's hard to forget, he sat there watching at the premiere and he couldn't remember filming any of it. <laughs> That's how much he was drinking. He was on a bottle and a half of gin a day. He cannot remember one scene of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. This is the man who we're going to trust when he says, on a surfboard while asleep, porpoises pushed him into land. <laughs> I don't think so. He's basically the Hollywood equivalent of Noel Fielding. <laughs> That's what you're saying. He's did mad. did get rescued out of a pond. <laughs> out of I... a puddle, actually. <laughs> by a starfish. <laughs> It's going to be one of the questions next year if you're going to watch. Me and Dick Van Dyke were in a puddle, <laughs> out of our minds, on Meow Meow. <laughs> let's, have, let's, let's hear from Seth Rogen. Let's get the definitive answer. Did everyone get it? Mr. Dick Van Dyke was pushed back to shore by a school of porpoises. That is crazy. Uh, I was actually fortunate enough to have Mr. Dick Van Dyke be a vocal coach uh, of mine for an upcoming project, and he taught me the perfect English accent. It goes like this. Merry Christmas, mate. <laughs> Happy New Year. Thank you. That's Australian. <laughs> That's, ladies and gentlemen. All right. So <sighs> we got it. Dolphins uh, or porpoises? Uh, 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 dolphins, porpoises, like porpoise, whatever you say, guys. It's an aquatic mammal that uh, that's featured at SeaWorld. Yeah. Uh, if I was like, oh, shit, look, a dolphin or, oh, shit, look, a porpoise. It's the same reaction. I'm going to yeah. give us a point for that. Yeah. So what's what's our final score? 14, bro. 14. Let's see how we stack up. And is your lot. Uh, let's start up the final scores. Oh, if you're so playing at home, there were a possible 36 points on offer this evening. How did you do? Uh, I'll tell you how the teams did. In last place. <laughs> it was always going to happen, but a very brave attempt, I feel. Um, well, we're all winners here. Always going to happen. Yeah, but you said purpose. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, maybe I'm the idiot. Twelve points. Noel Fielding, Richard Arwadi. <laughs> In second place, Alan Carr and Michael McIntyre. Twenty-five points. Come on, that's something. But the winners of this year's Big Fat Quiz of the Year, it's Jonathan Ross and Ruth Jones oh, with twenty-eight oh, points. Oh, oh. I've even got you a trophy, guys. Yeah. Congrats and well done. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, well done. There's your trophy. A big thank you to all our amazing panel, to all of you for watching at home, all our special guests. Thank you very much indeed. I'm yes. Jimmy Carr. That was the Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Good night. All right. Was, was congratulations well done in the first episode? I think so. But, hey, we didn't finish last. We, fi we got third. Hey, man. We we still got on that podium. Yes, we, we still, got the podium. We, yeah, we we're we're on the podium with 14. So I'm fine with bronze this time. We're yeah. making progress here. I don't think we'll ever get uh, gold. We may get a silver, <sighs> but uh, I doubt bronze. silver, man. I no. doubt. I feel like we just peaked. I think this is we our just we just peaked. 2010. You can't do better than that, West dudes. What what was it? What was uh two years ago? We had 14 and a half Four, or 14.5. But we half, didn't okay. we didn't place we didn't right place. We, didn't, we didn't place we got less points this time but we placed we yeah. got on the podium this time yep and i don't i just i don't see us getting back on the podium bronze 2010 hey that's fine with me 2010 bronze it'll be up here somewhere okay? <laughs> well let's just see how 2011 shakes out for yep. us or let 
because we're, we're coming into the point where there's other big fat quizzes other than just big fat quiz of the year let's see if the 80s 90s ones are coming up i'm just gonna double check this so we don't put our foot in our mouth okay so 20 2010 then 2011 and then we'll be after 2011 is the decades one so okay 20 2011 then the decades so okay cool let's see how we do there you go man i can't wait man i can't yeah, wait. this is the one of the more fun things most fun we're having on the channel right now yeah. in my opinion that with guy martin and the, uh, the yep. tv shows obviously but, but this is I'm having the most fun with it's, this. It's always good because it's always good to just do a quiz anyway. Just refresh your knowledge of the events of a certain year. My God, man. Anyway, y'all, thank you for watching. Patreon, thank you for your patronage, keeping lights on. Yeah, YouTube, fine. consider subscribing and watching another video. And what else, Dan the Man? Unplug. Do something legendary, guys. And see y'all next time. Later. Fellas, we could be that mistake. Do this.